Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Okay. Um I'll probably get rid of this old thing to be honest. But well, yeah, no, I just can. Um where were we? We've got some spiders coming back. For resupply. That's right, we were waiting on a few more pulverizers to finish this build. We need 88, and I think we're a bit short. More than a bit short. What should we do until that's complete? That needs to be a stack and soda. And for some reason I'm not carrying any. I don't know where... Um, I think I made a chest to make room... There it is. That's a lot of stuff. Maybe I should go pick it up before the bots resupply. Oh well. I think I might set up a uh, trash pickup to get that stuff back where it belongs. Okay. What else could we be doing in the meantime while we wait for that to get built? Uh, I could put some flat solar panels over there. That would definitely not hurt anything. Oh, let's get my speedy spider. Fantastic. And fix this thing. Back up to 60 we go. It's probably about time to clear this stuff out as well. I suppose I should stop procrastinating and take the time to make a, a set of requests for the construction spiders that'll set most things to zero. But first... That little detail's been bothering me for a while. Much better. And as for this thing, we're just going to need some green wire. Enable, disable, anything greater than zero, crash, pickup. And we've immediately got a train on the way. Fantastic. So that'll all get sent back to the main base. Uh, may as well add a rail block while we're here. Since we're carrying some. I should definitely make some deconstruction spiders to get rid of old things like this easily. That's actually the first step to making a better set of requests for the construction spiders as well. And there goes that life support research. I thought I would be carrying more rail. That's fine. Back to base for the moment, I guess. What should we be researching? The next bioscience pack? That's going to take a little while. And it'll take a lot less time if we let the bioscience accumulate first. Uh, but I think we're running out of things that we can do with what we've already got. Med pack 3. 
heals 200. Uh, better prod modules. Not too excited about that just yet. Not until we've got the infrastructure in place to mass produce them easily. Thermal radiator 2, that definitely sounds good. And efficiency, why not? Uh, rocket survivability, I don't see why not. Some cargo safety, that'll do for now. Spec? No, nope, not really. Okay. Construction spiders should be resupplied already, but it's really just the pulverizers that I'm looking for. Oh, I forgot our military spiders are down here. Let's give them something to do for a moment while we wait for a few more pulverizers. Already a third done on Thermal Radiator 2. Nice. Dip in and out of range of the worms. That's right, I wanted to put more shielding on the spider at the front. We'll do that as soon as it gets back. Can we cross that? I don't think so. I think that's a little bit much. Let's see. I think it's just barely too far for the spiders to get across. Come back from the navsat and this is still in my hand. I didn't realize it worked that way. Be a bit more careful. Cliff should make that a lot easier than it would otherwise be. Actually, there's plenty of gaps for them to split, uh, s slip through. Research done. Nice. That's another big old base gone. I wonder if we could head back around this body of water right here, not run out of rockets. It might be a tall order at this point.
taken a bit of actual damage. I should probably slow down a little bit. Yeah, I think it's going to take a little longer to get back that way than it's going to take to make those pulverizers. Should probably have the construction spiders carry some, I suppose. This'll do for now. Let's bring him back. Don't get stuck on the water. And how many pulverizers do we have now? 103. Fantastic. That'll be enough to finish that build. And I'll bring the construction spiders with us. Seems like we ran out of accumulated astronomic science packs now. Probably have a few more Spidertrons ready by now, let's see. Five plus one, two, three, eight. We can just about double the size of the army. And considering the auto target rockets that waste no ammo, uh, well, it's not quite doubling it, but it's pretty close. And it's definitely getting beyond that critical mass. Make sure the bots are going to reach all of these. And our slow, slow construction spiders are still catching up. I've run out of productivity modules. Uh, that is a pretty decent throughput of infinite free uranium already. Actually, how fast is this going to be? 90 times this is considerably slower than than the other four fragments. Um, 90 of these gives us a little bit more than two belts of this output. I can't just change the ratio, well, I mean, I can, by removing, uh, putting speed modules in place of some of these efficiency modules, um, but the way it is, we're gonna bottleneck on, we're gonna bottleneck on the side outputs at this rate. 
If anything, I suppose I've got it backwards, um, and I should have the uranium on the right side. Only 36 per second, and this is... Oh, we don't have all the productivity modules yet. Let's make sure we get all those. I think that's the end of it. Yeah, so 107, 108 items per second for the... What's the word I'm looking for? Not the main product we're, we're looking for from this. I could probably just... It's going to be a pain to move these things back, but I could probably just swap these around. And then we can beef up uh, the beacons for speed. Bring the uranium over here, and the other stuff can go this way. Um, and it's going to be a slight nuisance to move all of this stuff over. This is the same reason I put that chest there last time. Is it actually... it's not full. Why did it stop? Oh, I see. I think. Okay. Let's get ourselves all of this stuff. It's going into my trash slots, but that's okay. Hey, Niron Wolf. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Surprised how much of this I can fit in one go, actually. It's only going to take two trips. Alright, first things first. And then... The rest of this. Stone. Take the rest of the stone and... whoops. Yeah, that's fine. Close enough. Okay, so there's nothing but uranium over here. Drop all this stuff in these chests. And then we need to pick up the uranium. Um... This one, we're going to need to swap which stations have the fancy loaders as well. And of course the station names. Four fragment and stone pickup. We're going to need some filter inserters. Uh, is a filter inserter going to be fast enough? Let's see. I should probably have done this first. Uh, we need a... module... Insert a configuration for a beacon, all speed, and go. Trash slots are just free inventory? Yeah, unless you're in a robo network. A Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What are they? Oh, efficiency modules. 
I should have done that myself. The spiders aren't supposed to be carrying those. Alright, so are we all sped up now? We're not artificially limiting the speed because of excessive outputs like with the other ones. How fast is this going to be? 53 uranium per second. Uh, 133 plus 26. Pretty sure that is significantly less than four blue belts. Um, but I do wonder if filter inserters are going to be too slow for this with the multiple types of resource. I should probably... It's not really too late. I should probably put stone and uranium on this side. Let's see, what'll that add up to? Uh, more than... No, less than 90 items per second. Easily. Okay, that'll work. Um, so, in that case... We should change these to filter the regular core fragments to the left, or the right from that perspective. And then get rid of all the stone and uranium here. And then we won't have to use filter inserters on this side. Whoops. Nice rhythm. Okay. Uranium. And stone. Perfect. If that's the case... Well, no, this is fine. I was going to say I could put one on each side of the belt for that side, but that's not true. It's too much uranium to do that. Whoops. Uh, I think it's getting confused because there's not supposed to be multiple resources in this thing. Um, each, everything less than or equal to zero. That didn't do it. I'll just have to remove the conditions on these for now. Turn this around. That's already a lot of uranium. Although, we have been saving up those core fragments for a while, I suppose. Just need to get it to the point where this is nothing but core fragments. I think we're there already. Wait, there's some... That shouldn't be there. sure we've got the exact same issue up here and here. Go collect those in a moment. Um, but first, 
Let's get rid of everything that's not supposed to be on this side anymore. And a nice bonus here is we will not, in fact, have to change anything with the circuitry. So this is going to be uranium and stone. And it's already set high priority. Got to prioritize the ones that have multiple resources there so that one resource doesn't end up blocking the other. Trying to do this quick, precise mouse work is a bit tricky with the humidity here right now. Okay, I think we did it. And the fast inserters seem to have no trouble whatsoever. Oh. Yeah, I don't think the fast inserters are going to have any trouble keeping up with uh, 133 core fragments per second. And I think that's it. Nice. Alright, let's go pick up those items over there that are going to bother me until the end of time if I don't. Fulminate. Get back on the belt. And... Fulminate. Looks like we're missing the next shipment. Where is our cryonite right now? We've got 8.4k. Oh, and here comes... That's Holmanite, actually. Just want to make sure everything's okay for the cryonite supply. That would be a yes. Okay, then. Next. Uh, next, nothing. I think we're done here. This train doesn't seem to know how to get here, though. It's picking up core fragments. Trying to come here. Is there something wrong with the roundabout? Oh, there we go. And I think there's just as likely the same problem over this side. Train should be on the way now. Fantastic. Cool. And away we go. What's next on the menu? So we got all the core fragments. We've got a processing block for all of the core fragments that we're currently getting. I suppose the next thing is to... Oh, we need to actually process this stuff. Uh, we've done that for Cryonite, but... I haven't done anything about processing Holmanite yet. That block contains a mine. I would like to put the Holmanite uh, processing as close to this as possible, so I guess we'll do it here. Or maybe here would be closer in terms of 
train path. Uh, I think it's about the same. Also, let's not forget to tag this. Um, Formonite core fragment. And uranium core fragment. And what's this? Cryonite buds. Oh. Right, we're going to need some train stops here. Oh, I should pick up my chest full of stuff this time. And not leave it like that. Why are my bots not picking? Oh, I don't have any bots. That's probably why. And up here. Signals. And on this side as well. Pretty sure that's right. And yes. Chain signals in the middle. Okay, what do we actually need to do with Holmanite? Holmanite. Uh, I suppose this planner would be better for that. Holmanite. Can I not see one of the finished products from it. Or do I have to research? Okay, there's ingots made out of powder. It's probably going to be pretty similar to iridium plate. Uh, looks like step one is... It's gonna be pul it's gonna be like cryonite, isn't it? I'm gonna need a pulverizer. Don't tell me it's gonna be the exact same ratio and stuff. I need some productivity modules. Let's bring the train over. So first we crush the Holmanite, and then wash the Holmanite. It's a bit simpler than the uh, Cryonite because we don't get any water back. But other than that, it's exactly the same. And then cook it. We need holmium powder first. How do we make powder? We need cation iron exchange beads. Might have to do this in space, or we might have to bring beads down to the planet if we want productivity bonuses. Cation ion exchange beads requires um, uh, what was it? Uh, 
How do I... Wait, what? There we go. Plastic, vulcanite, sulfuric acid, and steam, and I can make it in a chemical plant. That wasn't what I was expecting. It's actually the exact same recipe as the Axion Iron Exchange beads. I forgot we made those on the desert planet. So that's not going to be a problem. It'll be a little bit of a nuisance getting all those things over here. But other than that, no big deal. So after we do that, we need the washed iridite, cadmium iron exchange beads, and water. So it's going to look a bit like this. And then finally, holmium powder becomes ingots. And I'm guessing the ingots get turned into uh, various things like this. Let's see, ingot only gets turned into plate. What was the other thing I was trying to figure out? Uh, we can't use vulcanite blocks to make this more efficient or anything. Where's that train? Uh, where is that train? It's just now leaving that area. That's kind of weird. Okay, this is going to be a pretty big pain to design. Um, I suppose the first step... I might even have the uh, resources get picked up on this side, because we might end up needing as much space as possible. If I do that, there's no room for fluids. Take the productivity modules. So inputs for this station we need are uh, holmanite, uh, plastic, vulcanite block, and three fluids if you count water, but since we're relatively close to it, I think we'll just have the pipe spring some more in. Yeah, I think one pump can probably support both of these blocks. So, three fluid, two fluids, um, one, two, three physical objects. Plastic and vulcanite block are going to stay together all the time, so I think we'll have a combined station for those using half belts. We'll make the beads uh, locally, and the rest kind of sorts itself out. It's going to be a bit complicated. And no doubt it's going to be pretty difficult to make a nice uh, layout with the differing ratios and different size buildings, just like with uh, Cryonite. So what I'm thinking is Plastic and vulcanite, like this. And on this side, holmanite. Right. 
regular old fulminate. Oops. And then, did I use that pattern recently somewhere? I can copy it. Doesn't look like it. Why do I remember designing a block like that quite recently? Well, we can steal this one anyway. So this should be plastic. This should be vulcanite block. And I need some belt. That should do it. Kind of hard to see with the flashing. Power thingies. Let's solve that for a second. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. I guess it would make sense to... Despite the order that things need to get made in, we'll make the beads up here. We also need sulfuric acid and steam. We'll do that up here. Oops. Pump. Goes here. Is the substation going to reach everything if I... Yeah, easily. Thinking we can probably fit that there. Let's see. What's this part going to look like? Should probably go to the right. Substation go burr. Nice neat fit. So this is going to request plastic, vulcanite blocks, and I guess uh, steam. Wait, where are we going to get the steam? Maybe we should just make it here. How much steam does this use? Uh, 0.5 per second. I think we could probably get away with just boiling the steam here. So if that's the case, we could do a water drop-off on this side. Sulfuric acid on this side. And... It's going to be tough figuring out the ratio for the entire thing, because there's so many steps to take. Let's start with... I wonder if it's going to be a similar ratio to this. And this becomes this one. 
give it some power. Wasn't water getting piped in or making a stop as the template could fill those tanks from the lake? Yeah, I'm thinking about that, but I would like to make this copy pasteable um, for later on anyway. Um, so let's see. 34.7 washed. Crushed Holmanite is way behind. So it's not the same as... It's not even remotely the same as with Cryonite. 28 versus 28.5. This is way, 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 way behind. Alright. Well, we're not gonna gain anything out of our previous uh, design. Let's just put six of these together and see what we get with a beacon. Uh, 28.5 versus... Let's see what eight of these gives us. Fortunate. Oh, I need some more chemical plants. That would consume 32 crushed holmanite per second. That's actually pretty close. I could always just chuck an efficiency on one of these or something. 35. We need to get this down to 28 if they're going to be one to one. 27.7. Wait, what? We're only consuming 22 now. Oh, I was reading the wrong thing. Okay. Also, where did I get efficiency twos from? Uh, 28 versus 32. 28.8. We're just a bit slow still. And changing just that one efficiency module puts that at net rate all the way up to 2.9. Maybe we should go with the 0.3 per second deficit. That's pretty close. So we'll bottleneck on this part just barely. And the fluid part is going to be significantly easier than last time. Okay. If we lay it out like that... Um, let's just put these down here for now. Gonna need room for some inputs. What are we looking at so far? I suppose we could find a more economical use of space here as well, possibly. Apparently I still don't have enough uh, pulverizers. 
What's this random stuff? Thonion, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I should probably add pulverizers to the things these guys carry, but I worry they're going to get very full quite soon. I didn't mean to change the color. There we go. Bring forth the pulverizers, please. Spider home, yes indeed. I'll put this aside for now, and if we do a rate calc on these, wait, I've run out of chemical plants. All right, so let's say we do this three or four times. We're looking at 107 or 142 uh, washed cryonite per second, uh, washed holmanite rather. And what does it take to keep up with that? Probably not a lot in terms of these beads. Productivity, give it some speed, and that's no good. I'm going to need the next recipe. I think it was a chemical plant that's next. It's down here, isn't it? Powder. It wouldn't happen to be a one-to-one -one ratio, would it? Not even close. Uh, wait, what? This thing produces... This spits out washed holmanite 50% of the time. It's going to be one of those pain-in-the-butt kind of uh, recipes. But uh, what I really need to know is how much washed holmanite a bunch of these consumes. So for one block like this, we're looking at 35.7 per second. This is slightly, slightly over. 29, 30 of these. And welcome to SE Loops. Yeah, they are Dwarf Fortress brand of fun, are they not? Um, this one doesn't output anything extra, does it? Nope. So it's just these ones that we have to worry about the loops for. Because of the loops, we're going to need a significant amount of space. Uh, 35.7. It takes 29 of these to be... to consume what's being produced here. So... Well, it's going to be slightly lower because we've set the bottleneck to be here by like 0.2 per second. Um, so I think next step is to just figure out the shape of what this is going to be, and actually, I wanted to just confirm, uh, looks like 
This is actually a net rate of only one per second. So... Three point one four. This is two point four eight. It's kind of hard to tell how many of these we need to support this. Net rate one per second, two point four. Okay, one of these can support two point four of these. So that's not going to be too hard uh, to keep up with, I imagine. L Puncher, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so all that remains for now is to figure out the shape of building the, uh, making the powder. So we've got sand is the only garbage resource we have to get rid of. We've also got stone over here. We can probably put those together. Um, there's going to be way more chemical plants doing this than this, so it's not like we can put them next to each other. And we need to fit as many of these together as we can. in order to get this to work properly. Where are our spiders? I think I sent them back for resupply, didn't I? What are they still receiving? Nothing. So... Oh, they took my chemical plants again. What? No. That is not... That is very arbitrary. Okay. Washed Holmanite and... Cadian Iron Exchange Beads. Both of these need to get recycled back into the same machine. And sand is the excess output. So, let's start with it. Why don't I have a chest on me? That's very weird. Well, I've got some here. Not that. Um, once again, I find myself wishing for two-way inserters. I suppose uh thank you for the host welcome uh an iron wolf two-way yeah as in the certain recipes that make me want to take items out under specific circumstances and put them straight back into the machine like uh i, I if you really want to, you can kind of use uh, crafting combinators to do that, because the items that are left over here when you change the recipe will get dumped into the overflow chest. Do you have bobs? Nope. Um, so... Beads and washed holmanite. goes here, and we want those consumed at a higher priority, and I'm thinking maybe we use belts to separate the outputs, we could put these a bit closer together, if we do it like this, we're not going to be able to fit that one, no matter how we go about it. 
discovered with bobs you can have the pick up and drop off on the same tile. I've used it for cover X ever since. That sounds nice. That sounds very nice, actually. There's definitely a few recipes in space exploration where that would be useful. Maybe we should have the pipes in the middle. They're going to be a lot easier to deal with with the beacon. Um, like so, and then we can fit the outputs like this, but we have to have the everything as far apart as possible with the beacon, and that's kind of a bit counterproductive considering how many of these machines we're going to need. Um, we'll call it plan A for now. Also, if we're going to do it like that, I suppose we could use some splitters to get the sand out of the way. That should be alright. Except this still needs to be a filter. Chromium powder and sand. Oops. Could do worse, I suppose. So the only primary inputs we need are washed fulminite and cadian iron beams. That could be on a shared belt here. The rate that we need for each individu individual machine is very low, so a long arm inserter will be fine. We can set it so that it won't pick anything up. Read hand contents fold. If there's anything here, it's not going to pick anything up. Actually, that's unfortunate because there's two types of resource. Um, I hate to say it, but we might have to use up even more space here. Because we kind of need a filter inserter. Set filters blacklist. Do it like that. That might work. Except then we've used up too much vertical space. We're probably just going to have to use up more horizontal space. So that we can get the most out of each uh, beacon. Yeah, I think this is probably it. So here we're going to have beads and uh, washed holmanite coming down the belt. Uh, I don't suppose there's a nice... There's absolutely nowhere to fit a substation. Uh, unless we use undergrounds, which we can. If I put it here and here, they're not going to reach across and touch each other. Unfortunate. That's actually really unfortunate.
If I move this down a tile, that still doesn't reach these ones. What about like that? Probably don't need the splitters everywhere. It's only two tiles on the opposite side. Ugh. That's a little bit upsetting. I guess I could just about live with that. It'll also reach if we tile it across. Yeah, I think that'll do. Okay, so the question is, how many of these can we fit? And... I should blueprint it, actually. Snap to grid relative... Not entirely sure how it's going to look vertically, but we'll sort that out in a moment. I think we're going to need far, far, far fewer of these blocks than we're going to need these things. This, for example, would be a net rate of 27 washed fulminite. Okay. 35.7 of these per second. Washed Holmanite. We need a net rate. So it's about 1 to 4. This to this. Where's that blueprint I made? Can we fit? We definitely cannot. I don't suppose I could move the whole thing uh, up very much. Let's do a... Wait, how fast is this going to consume? If we were to do all 18 of these... Less than two blue belts. Okay. I think we'll aim to use more than 45 per second. Probably. Actually, I have my doubts. Well, yeah, just two of these is a bit more than 45. Okay. So we'll start with 90 per second left. And... I think we're going to need a bit more room. Actually, let's do a... long one here and then have it turn around. That's good. And we can just split off from that as many times as we need. I just realized I was putting the input in the middle. I guess that's fine. Either way. So 
So that's about as far north as that can go. And if we're going to do this vertically, we can't quite fit it even if there was no output station. Uh, M. Mawakabe, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so why don't we think about changing this ratio right here? Uh, this one was already had to be slowed down. Hmm. We'd be able to put these here. What does this ratio look like so far? Net rate of 11 crushed hormonite per second. 3.6. So three more of these. It's not three is not an even number though. So those two are already touching, which means these can go down here. Oh, we didn't have the speed module powered. The beacon. Net rate is 4.992 of these per second, minus 1, hmm, just start Mamdo69, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Let's put some efficiencies in these until the ratio is as close as it can get. Net rate 1.4. Net rate 3.0. What? Maybe I didn't select all of these before. Or am I looking at the wrong thing? Yeah. Crushed Hormonite. We want that as close to zero, but positive as possible, if we can. Uh, that's pretty good. Negative 0.2. I think if we do this, I'm not going to like the ratio as much. Net rate 1.4. Well, it depends how many of these we need to build. Um, if we do it this way, I could probably fit a couple of these, like so. Feels, uh, it does feel weird having... Oh, these ones... I'm not going to have full speed, though. That's going to make the ratio even weirder. Well, we can try. Also, the pipes are going to be a little bit more strange. Uh, let's see what we've got so far. Uh... Washed Hulmanite is at 32.2 per second. Net rate 32 per second if we have exactly four of these. Let's see if we can fit them. I do have my doubts. Especially since we need to get these guys away from that beacon. It almost works. If we put it more in the middle, I guess. Two, two tiles closer to the middle. Hmm. One, 
two. Except the these are gonna be in the way. Getting an awful lot of bots hovering over the spider trons. Why are you so full? Probably ended up with more productivity modules than it's supposed to have or something. Efficiency modules. Not supposed to be carrying those. Let me go put some of these back. Uh, let's focus first. Need one more of these. I guess we'll let the bots build some rail. Right, how's our ratio looking? Uh, it would probably help if the pulverizers were in place. I think I saw the spiders were carrying some. Oh, there we go. Maybe it would be better if I separated this into more multiple blocks. Don't really want to have to do that though. So we're looking at net rate 1.4 crushed holmanite. That's pretty good. Net rate of washed is actually negative 10 now. That doesn't seem quite right. Oh right, because I ratioed this for six of these. Except. Uh, so 21.824, that would just be 17 of these machines. Got kind of a weird mix of beacons here. So like this far down. would be nice if it was a multiple of six, but alas. I mean eight. Alright, let's check this again. Net rate is just a little bit over one for each. I think I can live with that. And twenty iron beads. That's pretty good. Now, if we do copy this across a few times, are we going to have room for everything else? I haven't even included um, the smelting step that comes after this. This is 24 holmium powder per second, which... How fast does this consume it? 24.8. That's incredibly... Apart from the odd number, that's a very convenient ratio. So, 11 of these? Let's just double check that. Uh, 
That doesn't sound right. Let's add another one. Still net rate of 5.6 holmium powder per second. Guess we'll add another one. That's going to be well over, right? Uh, significantly over. So how much does six of these consume? 9.6 per second. And we're net 5.6 here. If I remove a couple of those. Net 8.2. Oh, I'm doing it backwards. Yeah, we need to add just a few. Derp. Uh, that's pretty good. 1.6 each, so one more. Yeah, it's as close as we're going to get. Okay, so I don't think there's any way we can fit that, though. I guess we could move these beacons up a bit. I could always have just two of these per column. Might be a lot easier. Um, so that is... 9.5 crushed per second. To support that at full speed, we need just two of these. It's actually a pretty good ratio. Wait, no, I'm reading the wrong thing. This uses eight. So three will easily consume it. If we just have a couple of those. That leaves us with... Uh, just under 10 washed iridite, uh, holmanite per second. Eight of these. Which happens to be just one beacon. I like where that's going so far. Hey, hey, how are you? How's your factory? Yeah, not bad. Uh, Wondergraf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So how many of these do we need to keep up? These ratios should be decent. Net rate of positive less than two for each of them. That's pretty good. And powder. That's actually really, really good. Positive 0.32. Just barely not consuming all of the powder coming in. So, um, and I guess we don't have to worry about repeating these uh, splitters all over the place. We can just do it like this. That doesn't reach there, so we can put this part as close as possible. This one is as close as it can be. Unless we just move this beacon up, of course. We can pretty much put it where we want. That means we can move this whole thing up. 
probably won't be that close, but... Well, it seems like we've now gained more space than I was hoping to. But I think I like the look of this a bit better. Okay. So we'll need to get... I think if we copy this across multiple times, there should be plenty of room to squeeze in the resources for this part from the side. So we could do it like that. Uh, except there's not going to be enough room for these things sticking out. We can't really make that take up more space vertically because we'd need more beacons to accomplish the same thing. So I think what we do here is copy like so. It's probably okay if those share a belt. Let's check. We multiply this by two. Uh, net rate is only eight per second for each resource. So we could actually double that, even multiply it by four, and that would still be okay. All right then. So I think this is going to be our layout. And we're not going to fit another one of those. Four is a good number in Factorio because of how splitters are. And the whole thing... Still missing some pulverizers. Can I make just a couple? Oh, never mind. The whole thing is asking for... 57 Holmanite per second. I'm pretty okay with that. Um, I guess this can reach through here. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, that's right. And that's the end of the line. Okay. First two of these need two belts. This one does not. So we can change that to that. And just treat it like a normal single belt. Sorry, longer? Fast inserters, are they enough? 4.75 per second. Probably not. Uh, let's give him an upgrade. And... What's next? How fast do you need? Powder. Only 1.6 per second.
Cool. Hmm, if I'd left a bit more space, I could probably move all these down a tile, and then the sand can just merge like so. Well, there's going to be plenty of room to deal with the sand either way. Um, I'm actually kind of sad that I've only used like half the block now. But if we try to keep the ratios decent, making it just a little bit bigger makes it a problem. We are going to need room for making the cation iron exchange beads. Uh, let's check the net rate of those. 32.5 per second. Let's see. How many do we need? Beads. Wait, what? Oh, that's the wrong re uh, recipe. And it was 32 point something? 32.2. Uh, why don't we make 12 of these and see if that's enough? because it's not a multiple of what fits with these. It's fine. Let's see how that looks. Beads. Negative 2.24 net rate. Uh, so we're going to do 16. Pipes might be a bit of a problem if we're trying to keep them that close together with this cons confined space on the right side. All the more reason to move all this down a bit. Okay. I'm sure that's going to be more than enough. 39.68. Net rate is actually just 1.28. That's perfect. Alright. How much space? I think we've seen this design before. Same thing happens with uh, sulfuric acid. Wait, not sulfuric acid. Sulfur? Sulfur. Because the way the chemical plants are laid out, you can't mirror them or anything, and the way pipes work. Um, the minimum space we can use for this looks something like this, which means we don't have room on the other side. Um, pretty sure we can Maybe make just enough room over here without changing much of anything. Maybe it would be better if the Holmanite, uh, Holmium powder went off to the sides here. And then we could push the sand down this way, and we'll have a splitter filter to deal with those later. What's the rate that we're looking at? Only f five point... Really? 5.37 ingots per second for this whole thing. Where are we making the ingots for... Uh... Oh, that's right, we're sending the ingots from... 
the desert planet, and they are quite slow for now. So I don't really have something to compare it to. Well, if the rate that we're getting out of this whole thing is that slow, then we're definitely not going to have any trouble. Uh, we're making more sand than the finished product. But yeah, the whole thing can... F sand and stone, that's less than 24. The whole thing can fit on one belt. We can just filter it. I really kind of want to try fitting more stuff in, but if I were to try to double this as it is, it's definitely not going to fit. I think we'll just be content with this. So I'm thinking... Holmium can go this way. This can become an output. And... We'll just filter the sand at the end. And that'll make it easier. Alright, let's just copy this part. It's going to be nice and easy to line up. Good morning, Creakly. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess this is only going to use half a belt as well. That's fine. Yeah, that'll be okay. Right then. So... Oh. Plastic and Vulcanite block, that's just one belt. 0 0.2 per second each. We could get away with a long arm, but... I don't know... If that's going to be okay. Uh, where does this line up? It's a bit different. Why don't we just blueprint this, snap to grid relative, and burp. that was definitely a lot easier. I'm hoping to squeeze in the inputs like so. I think this is going to work. What about the other side? Whoop. Except this belt is in the way. We could turn these things around. Except it's going to have to be symmetrical if we do that. Uses a little less belt as well. Right. I guess we didn't end up using that much space on the left here. In fact, I could probably move everything over a tile or two. And then we could put this up here where it'd be a bit more natural.
Why don't we do that? Guess it's fine to grab. I don't really want to grab the pipes. Um, what's that substation doing here? I'll move this stuff out of the way for a moment. Put all of this. Move it over to the left. Pretty sure it doesn't matter if it's up against the rail. And that means we can put this somewhere a bit more sense-making. Probably here. Okay. That's going to be a butt job and a half. When you're finished, can you share this production line in Discord? Sure. No worries at all. Uh... Did I leave enough room? I'm, I'm sure we can figure it out. If this is here, it's still under that beef. Should be fine. Uh, let's see. Washed Holmanite and Iron Exchange Beans. Yeah. I think we can just proceed as planned and we'll be able to find room for that. So what I want to do here is have input belts on the outside and one output in the middle going up this way and then to the left. Like so. And that's just going to be these two. It's fine, I guess. And that should do it. Do we have room for the outputs for these? Uh-oh. Um, these ones are obviously fine. This, not so much. Get rid of the substations to start with. And see where they can fit now. I guess we'll just have to have an extra one there. No big deal. I don't really like the way these cross over. Let's change this a little bit. Actually, how's this layout going to look? Good question. I hope I haven't created problems for myself with the water here either. I think that's not going to be difficult. Could always have the pipe go up this way or something. I'm more concerned about uh, getting the beads. Let's move this up. Uh, 
Can we get this through here? Almost. Should have thought of that as well. What about putting this here? That goes there. Oops. And then... Input is crushed fulminate. How fast are these? 4.7 per second. I think we could just put the splitter... splitter? Uh... We actually don't need a belt for these ones, we can just put them... one tile up and put a stack inserter right next to them. The only trouble is this underground belt right here. Uh, we could probably... Hmm. I guess we're gonna have to move all of this down a tile. Unfortunate, but worth it, I think. Not gonna take too long. Right, so stack inserter goes there. No need for a belt output for these, since it's literally just one to one for each of them. Um, and then we can have probably like this actually. Four point nine of these per second. There's room if we need more stack inserters. No worries there. That actually fits pretty well. Oh, wait. This one's going to be a bit different. No, I think we still do it like this. And then... Uh, these ones all need to change, actually. Okay, there's there. And I think we're just going to have to have an underground like this. It's either that or, like, two stack inserters. Unless I want to... If this goes one tile to the right, this goes one tile to the left. That doesn't really help. No, I think this is fine. Oh. We need these to be stack filter, washed hominite, and how much stone does it make? Less than one per second. Stone goes on this belt. And we've really oversimplified, uh, not oversimplified, we've done a good job simplifying 
dealing with the stone and sand this way. Arrow keys, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, I think... And, uh, uh, Matthias, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. I think that is just about going to be that. And thank you very much for the subscription as well. Much appreciated. I want to copy-paste this over there, but it's going to be a little bit different to what we've already got here. Let's just remove this part. Make sure we get this one right. Um, like this. like this. And then, not gonna lie, I'm a bit scared I'm gonna make some weird mistake copy-pasting this. How do you get the snow map? Just a selection in map creation or mod? Um, it's actually built into space exploration, but the mod is called, what is it? Biomes? Alien biomes, I think. Alien biomes. There it is. Let's give it a save. No worries. Do these reach across? No. Also, this should have a bit of belt. That one looks a bit sketch. I think it's getting close to the point where I'm going to need to see this in motion before I uh, know where the mistakes are. And speaking of which, why aren't we seeing it in motion at all? Probably because I haven't set up the delivery stations yet. Sorry, I'm new. What are you fixing slash building, etc.? Uh, this is a production line for a resource called Holmium, or Holmenite, uh, which is part of the space exploration mod. We need it for an advanced type of science pack, among other things. Uh, also, when you install just alien biomes, it makes a slider for generating more or less snow. Nice. If you're playing Factorio without mods, you won't understand any of this. I wouldn't say that's quite right. Okay, that goes there. I think that's the last one of those we need. Uh, it's probably about time we set up some train stops here. So that we can see what's working. LTN, standard drop off. Uh, we're going to need some power for this side. And that should be fine. This is... Well, which fluid should be which? Oh, I forgot. We're going to need steam. I'm sure we've got plenty of room to 
make it. We're just going to use a steam engine or three. So how much steam does this actually require? 46 per second. Rate calculator doesn't tell us. Oh, this consumes 30. What am I doing? Uh, what we need is an electric boiler. Right. Uh, and we just need like 100 degree steam. I think. Doesn't really matter. Uh, it's not. Okay. 16 per second, and this can make 264, so that's far more than enough. I think we'll just put it here if it's under the substation. Nice. And then bring the pipe down this way. This one has steam on the outside. That actually looks kind of messy. There we go. And the other resource, sulfuric acid, uh, is only needed over on the right side. There's plenty of room to squeeze a pipe through here. So let's do that. Don't really know. I'll, I'll change the way we do this belt a little bit. That way we can bring this pipe up here. I'm a little sad that just barely doesn't line up. This way. Oops. So this is uh, hormonite and sulfuric acid. Oops. Sulfuric acid. Questa. And this one's going to be water, uh, plastic, vulcanite, and water. Plastic, vulcanite, and water quest. I don't think we're going to need water all that quickly here, are we? No. One train, one delivery is going to last a long time. So, let's stick. Uh, Vulcanite block. And water. That should be negative. And because we're using a fluid, request stack threshold isn't going to be good enough. Um, I'll just set a request threshold of 16k. Okay. Once I connect this, there should be a train coming pretty soon. And same thing goes for uh, Holmanite. Wait, does that stack to 50 or is it... Fifty. Whoops. Okay. Quest threshold, 8,000. 
Fulminate. Couple of train loads. Sulfuric acid. One train load. And that should be that. AM or Bell, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And same to you. Played this mod pack for months and I still don't understand. Yeah, it's pretty complex. Here comes our plastic. Um, that's right, I needed to update this part. Does this reach over to here? It does. I feel like that's going to look a little bit better. Actually, it looks worse. Right, so we're just waiting on, well, quite a lot, actually. Also, it takes twice as long to unload a train with this setup. Uh, why do we not have any pulmonite coming? Or sulfuric gas? Oh, probably because I didn't set this up yet. Also, we need to tell LTN what we've already got. And same applies over here. Right, so there's a train on the way with sulfuric acid, or it will have sulfuric acid in a second. Burp. And what else? More plastic, probably because um, probably because I wasn't telling LTN that we have any plastic yet. There's our sulfuric acid, and probably a good idea to make it connect over here as well. Um, I feel like it's a little bit neater to connect it down this side. I don't think we've actually got a pickup station for water, so let's do something about that. Just set up delivery cannons for all the main items in each of my blocks. Just have to make the capsules now. Hopefully it's an easy build to make them in bulk. Yeah, it's not too bad, I think. Alright, let's uh, bring a bit of rail up here, shall we? And we need some offshore pumps. It's probably more than enough, but I think the minimum consumption for these is zero, so it doesn't matter. Uh, train stop. Tanks. And a bit more piping. Uh, 
that's gonna bottleneck on the pipe itself anyway. Why have I run out of underground pipes? Can I fit this somewhere a bit more sensible? Whoa, hello. Spider friends. Uh, we could probably do it like this, actually. And some substations. Is this not... Wait, there we go. I don't think we need that diagonal. Right, that's our water. Tell LTN what we've got here. Um, standard pickup. Except instead of a Actually, we don't even need to connect the green wire here. We're just going to tell it that there's always 100,000 water. And the request threshold... Uh, the provide threshold is whatever. So there should be a train on the way here pretty soon, as soon as I... Connect this up. This just goes to show you that the information that you give LTN for what's available at the station doesn't have to be real. Did you want that last pump placed feeding the same pair as the third to the last? Yeah, I think... Uh, I mean, as long as it goes into a storage tank, we're going to get 50k out of these and 50k out of these two really quickly. And a train only picks up 100k at a time. So I think that's probably okay. Rails are not completed. Train can't go in. That's true. Is this rail in use anymore? Yeah, probably. Let's just start with this, and allow the train to leave once it's done. Cool, the train should be on the way now. I should probably make another fluid depot as well since there's only one of them and it's way up here. And away we go. What are you waiting for? There's our water and steam. And just to confirm again, we're not going to have any trouble making steam fast enough. Nope, not even close. Uh, we're still waiting on vulcanite blocks, which is a little bit concerning. Um, we don't have the fastest rate of vulcanite blocks here. Maybe it's time to visit the vulcanite planet. What have we got? 16k vulcanite is available for picker. I have a little vulcanite processing area down here. I guess we're bottlenecking on these two machines now. 
It's not just these two, there's a couple more somewhere else, but I guess uh, we're overdue to make a proper block for that. 29,000 vulcanite blocks are actually available here. There seems to be a bit of a traffic jam? Question mark? What's going on here? Why do you have 800 iron that you can't get rid of? Probably because buffer chests. Had the same problem with the stone earlier. I should probably change that. Okay. Are you coming to where I need you right now? I think I've got this set as a higher priority. It is set as priority 10. And these are never going to be full, really. So I guess our next step is to go to the Vulcanite planet. Which is Marien. It's waterless, so... We can't exactly run it off of nuclear power, unless we want to send ice there all the time. Um, but I think there's no biters. Let's uh, scan the surface. Stop all scans. Scan surface. We did scan this whole thing, right? Yes. I was thinking of a different planet, though. Taser? Yeah, we scanned Taser. So I think we'll be setting up something like this, but minus nuclear power, and we'll have to go and do the global media defenses instead of the point defenses this time. And the tricky part of that is the supply line for the different resources to make the ammo. Other than that, we just need to use a lot of solar panels. It's waterless, yes indeed. Just looked like you were going for one pump per pair. Do you get a little water from the core processing? Uh, I think you get water from core processing regular core fragments, but... So, so far from what I've seen, all of the other core fragments, except maybe oil, um, produce solids only. They produce regular core fragments, uh, stone or something, and the thing that you're actually looking for, like um, holmanite, for example. Um, I don't suppose I have any more of these handy. Where's the construction spiders? Dev ill. Water provider. But you're not breaking the cores on the remote planet? Yeah, no, I'm moving away from that. I did that a few times and I don't care to do it anymore. Um, it does make sense on a planet like Tolibai, I guess. Uh, not really. If I had to do this again, um, I would send the uranium core fragments back directly, and if I'm going to run it on nuclear power, I'll just send the uranium back. Um, but... All of this stuff that I had to build here, which took a lot longer than I thought it would, um, is largely because I decided to do a little bit of coal mining here. The trouble is you have to get rid of every resource in order to keep everything moving. Much, much, much easier to uh, send the core fragments back directly and deal with it all in one on one planet. We're still waiting on Vulcanite. 
I think it's going to take a while before Vulcanite gets here, unless I maybe sort of schedule... I, I could bump the priority for this one up temporarily, I guess. Priority. Super high. Yoon, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream? Uh, Nat4, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Welcome, raiders. So, where are we now? We've got our Holmanite, we've got our... Everything except for Vulcanite blocks, actually. Just got smacked by CME, so fun. I forgot again. Well, I mean, I still haven't got around to setting up a... CME, uh, an umbrella to protect against that. On the... You know what? It's... It's such a small profile that... I almost wonder if we shouldn't worry about the CME. How much power does the thing consume when it's not... Uh, when it's just passive? Let's see... Umbrella. 10 megawatt. Hmm. That's not insignificant, but not as bad as I was expecting. So, if we add an umbrella to this, the only question is do we have enough storage? And with steam tanks, it's really not too difficult, right? I guess Coyote isn't the only one that didn't see it as map, map though. Lex Real, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna not worry about the CMEs for now. When's the next one, actually? Uh, how do I get that help bot? I can't remember how... Here we go. Energy beams... Uh-oh. Next one's heading for Tolibai. Three and a half hours. Very small planet. Runs on nuclear. It's the one I was just looking at before, actually. Probably... Out of all of the planets, uh, this has got the most area that's actually stuff that could be hit by the CME compared to the planet. Um, we've also got way more power here than we need. Uh, wait, no, I seem to remember. We've got an umbrella. Okay, fantastic. That one's fine already. Alright, should I try and force a delivery of Vulcanite blocks over here? We've got 15k here, there should be a train coming to pick it up as soon as it hits 16. And then I'll just drop the priority once the uh, delivery has been set. Once we get this production chain finished, I want to go to the Vulcanite planet. Uh, Perma Danato? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how fast are we making? Only five per second. I think this is all in the robo network, so why don't we update this a little bit? I could give it productivity modules, but it seems like we're bottlenecking on just actually turning the Vulcanite um, into blocks at this point. And we're certainly not going to have any scarcity of Vulcanite once we go to the planet. 13 per second, that's a bit better. And there's our 16k. I set the priority for the station we're at to a thousand, so 
As soon as a train is scheduled here, it should be coming to us. Should just take a few seconds. Any second now. Why is it taking so long? That train stop is working. I literally just saw it make a delivery before. Unless the train's going to pick up from here first. 13k. It's not. Or all of our trains are in motion. That's not looking good. We need to rebalance that. Let's jump on our noble steed. I'll send the construction spiders back for resupply while we're at it. And why don't we... Actually, before I send the military spiders anywhere, let's make a few more. Didn't you build a huge rocket part block? I would move to using rockets to move stuff. Cannons are way too low output. Cannons are fine for now, they're much easier to set up, and once we've actually got everything moving, we can focus a bit more on throughput. Besides which, for the outpost designs I played around with a bit, uh, it was pretty difficult trying to figure out... At least, if we only use one... Uh, landing pad, it was pretty difficult to try and figure out the circuit logic and everything. I think if I am going to use rockets for that, I'll just end up uh, giving up and using three landing pads. But landing pads create a kind of a logistical, I don't want to say nightmare, but it's a problem. Uh, where you have to deal with all of the capsules, uh, cargo rocket sections, and so on. There's still plenty of trains in the depots, so it's not like... Oh, there we go. So now we just have to... Wait, what? Where are you going? Picking up sand. And then going here. Why is that... Oh, because this is called Variety Pickup. And you're picking up Vulcanite blocks. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Whoop, careful. Yeah, I should probably just not use these as buffer chests. Oh, they're getting dumped on the ground. Luckily, we've got a way to pick those up easily. Um, why is my inventory so full? There we go. And I guess we could always just... Put some iron in here. No, I wanted to have... Um, a specific place for it, if it ends up in the network. Why do I have another balancer right here? I guess it's fine. will have to do. Iron plate. Uh, fill it. Iron plate. 
less than 4k. And we shouldn't see this get imbalanced again. Cannons are the express delivery option, rockets are the moving trucks. Yes, indeed. Uh, okay. That makes three more military spiders. Got a few more over here, no doubt. Missing portable RTG. Do we have some on the way? Not even. Did I not automate these? I'm sure I did. I did. So what's the problem? There's no uranium fuel cells here. Not that I knew we needed them. Okay. Uh... Where are we? I think we have small trains doing the uranium fuel cells, right? Yeah, here it is. That's nuclear. Why are there only a couple of these? Um, hmm. That's a bit concerning. I wonder where our uranium is. How much have we got here? 15,000. That's almost two train loads. So... I never connected this wire. There's a problem. Should be a train coming pretty soon to pick up the uranium. Any second now. Let me just double check these other ones have that same wire. That you do not. And this one. Alright, cool. As for the uranium, there we go. Do you know the range for the cannons? Um, I would guess the solar system. You can only use cannons to transport inside the solar system. There you go. And where are we off to now? Right where I thought we would go. Fantastic. That'll get uh, nuclear fuel going again. We actually ran out of it. That's a bit scary. I'm surprised we haven't had any power problems yet. I guess we added a lot more solar panels than I realized. Still a little bit surprised. There's our lovely uranium. Gonna take a moment before it gets to producing nuclear fuel again. Right, what was I doing? Not building more of these spiders because they don't have portable RTGs. We need 10 of them. And it's all waiting on nuclear fuel. I don't know... Oh, this one's picking up nuclear fuel. And for some reason... I don't... Okay, I don't know how this keeps happening. Um... This system here... Okay, your problem is you can't reach that destination. That's a separate problem. But we've got a system here whereby we report what's in the logistic network, the LTN. And then a small train comes, and as soon as it arrives, we set the requests for whatever it's looking for.
But for whatever reason, we keep getting them asking for fewer items than they can actually get from the logistic network. And this answers a question I had earlier that um, we do indeed have a drop-off station to get the nuclear fuel here. But unfortunately, the way this is set up, it's going to go around in a circle. Now, why do you have no path? Trash pickup. That station shouldn't even be active. Let's send our construction spiders to deal with that. If you really run low on uranium, you can add more coal mining at the expense of power. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of coal mining already. Um, way beyond diminishing returns, actually. It's hard to know how many of these I should probably remove. But that's okay. Um, what else was I doing? Since we're waiting on that, let's play a little bit with our military spiders. And the ones that are fully equipped. And once we get 10 RTGs, we'll add another 5 to this group. That's probably going to work without me watching it. If the provide threshold for LTN is low, then it It'll request whatever it is, not necessarily requesting what it can carry. Request what it is as opposed to what it can carry. Um, where are you trying to go? That station is actually important. I need to fix this rail right here. Does this fit? Not quite. I could do it like this. That's kind of ugly. Let's uh let's do it over here. That's a little bit annoying. Right. And we can actually remove this whole thing. Uh, remote this one. Gonna need to add some signals here. Actually, chain signal should be correct. No, make it a regular. that. They'll probably not pick up all that rail. Where's our military spiders? Not there yet. Right. So I think I should probably change this station over here. 
Uranium fuel cells less than 1k request. Uranium fuel cells. Let's set that to less than 2k. That'll do. And are we getting any more RTGs yet? Yes, but we should do it a bit faster these days. Fast inserter can't keep up. Squad of military spider Spidertron sounds kind of terrifying. Oh yeah, definitely. War of the Worlds themes play, uh, plays. Oh, that's right. I was going to put more shielding on the one at the front. I'll just have to do it when it gets back. Vyasha Slave, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pretty chunky base, but not too difficult when you've got rocket spam. Constructotrons, do your thing. What is all of this? I think there's a little separate robo network here or something. Um, if we connect it to this one. That'll get sorted out. There's our RTGs. By the time the spiders get back, um, we can add five more to the squad. First, I need to copy the settings from one of them. Missing one portable RTG. Should be on the way already. Yep, there it is. Just saw some biomass in motion, so we know that we're making more spiders still. Fantastic. Right. Uranium's looking less unhealthy. What are you doing? Something's not right here. The pipes are full. Oh, I think I missed a wire. Yeah, I did. Alright, let's get you back home. And... I wonder if I made the same mistake with that other build. Nope, that one's fine.
Don't suppose we're about to make the same mistake with small electric motors? Nope. I don't even remember putting pumps in the rail network, but here we are. Pumps and storage tanks. And iron chests. And pipes. It's still not jogging my memory why I put these things into the network, but they were all prerequisites for one thing. I think the uh, build for that is over here somewhere. Here it is. No? Oh, was it small electric motors? No. I don't think I'm going to figure it out anytime soon. But I thought the build that we need those for was over here somewhere. Also, I thought I saw a train stuck here. It is. Same problem, this is full. We're requesting 64,000 big electric motors. Uh, can we fit that? 2.4 times 24? No. We definitely can't. Uh, we can fit 57,000. So, yeah, that was just a mistake. Send that back to the depot. The depots do have a system in place to empty items like this. Somehow missed it, but it turned out that the devs of Factorio hired working with devs of SE. Honestly, it makes me quite hyped. Yeah, it's pretty exciting, actually. Uh, where's our Spidertrons? Over here. Let's pick this stuff up. And those bots that were hovering have returned once they came. Definitely get rid of this stuff. Right, let's uh, finish this squad. Just gotta get them to follow the bright green one. It's getting hard to see which one's which. Let's see if that's right. That's definitely right. Okay, you... Uh, why don't you just not carry any lasers and use shields only? I wonder if... Uh, in that case, it would be better having... Just the one portable RTG and more batteries? Probably would be. Whoops. Let's do like nine shields. Double the batteries. Energy per hit point 20 ki kilojoules. And we can do 400 megajoules. Uh, 400,000, 20, so 2,000 hit points. If my math is correct, that's not that good. Twenty kilojoules, 400 megajoules. Uh, one battery does five thousand. A 
I think it's actually 20,000 hit points in the batteries. So yeah, that would actually be pretty good. Okay. Let's continue picking this stuff up. Oh. I see. Let's send you back to base then. And then... I am kind of blanking on what I was doing. In the bigger picture. We got some new spiders, we tidied up these builds a little bit. There was a train that couldn't get over here, I think that's fixed. Fixed a couple of other little train issues. I want to go to the Vulcanite planet. Oh, that's right. I wanted the Vulcanite because we were building this. Still haven't... still hasn't been delivered. I thought I saw a train come to get Vulcanite earlier. This is at 11k at the moment. This one was at like 15 earlier on. RTG? Yeah, we got those. Hmm. Not really sure what to do about the Vulcanite, considering it didn't get delivered to this when I set the priority to a thousand. I suppose I could force it to deliver some. No, I think I'll just... Uh, I would really like to finish this build first, but I think we'll go to the Vulcanite planet. And just make that resource abundant first. So... It's waterless, we're going to need a lot of solar panels, because we're going to need a lot of solar panels, we need to uh, either make a pattern where we have media point defenses. Maybe I should do it that way. Make a solar layout that includes media point defenses and belts. I don't love that. But it would mean we don't have to shoot down every media. The amount of range that you get out of them is pretty big as well. But then you need multiple point defenses to make sure you don't miss them. If you set up a global one, you just know that like 8 to 12 is plenty. So, set it up something like, we've already got this blue printed, let's remove the nuclear power. the point defenses as well. Pretty minor risk for medias. Protect expensive sites and roll the dice. You do get some minor ore out of the deal. I don't even want the ore on a planet where I'm just trying to send back the core fragments. Um, so, I do like this layout, one core drill, two delivery cannons, um, we're going to need to, s oh, what I wanted to figure out was, if we send barrels for the sulfuric acid, 10 electronic circuits, 10 batteries, 10 steel for one shot. Uh, batteries, require chemical plants, and 
how much. 200 sulfuric acid. If we ignore the productivity bonus, um, 200 sulfuric acid per uh, media defense installation ammo, which is four barrels, I believe. I can't look at the barrels here. Fifty, as I thought. So if it takes if it takes more than fifty sulfuric acid to make one of these and it takes ten steel. Um need a recycling facility. I think we'll just recycle the barrels into steel and put that into the media defense installation ammo and use uh, cannons for all of it, maybe? Where's my recycling facility? There it is. Barrel to steel is one to one. So we just have to prioritize consuming. Honestly, just pointing. Hmm. Now, I think we do have to make sure we prioritize the steel consumption from the recycling facility. Question is how clever of a way we can do that. And can we fit all of this uh, close together? How long does it take? Two seconds. That's fine. Um, we need to empty the sulfuric acid barrel. Empty barrel. We need this to go to batteries. We need iron and copper. I don't think we can fit all of these close to the delivery cannon chests without some belts and stuff. What do we actually need here? Iron and copper and barrel. Pipe could go here. Barrel goes here. So, forget the nuclear stuff, forget the coal. Iron and copper, sulfuric acid barrel. Which one is it? This one? And steel. We need steel to go uh, into this ammo as well, which, given that layout, could be a bit of a problem. I don't think there's a way to get the steel to here directly. We also need to make electronic circuits, which we'll have to send... Can we send stone tablets directly from here? Or does it have to be, like, stone brick or something. We could send it as stone brick, that just leaves one more step. Otherwise we have to send wood in order to make green circuits. 
we also need copper cable, which we're already making that over here. Alright. There's definitely no way we're fitting it all snug together. So, given that... Um... Copper... And iron. And steel. And we're making the batteries. also need stone tablets. Stone tablet. I'll definitely move this over a bit. No reason that has to stick out so much. Hmm. That doesn't work. Oh, this does. Make that a bit further apart. I do have a way to limit what we put in this chest. Oh, hello. Okay, so stone tablets, uh, stone brick, iron and copper go in here. Copper goes there directly. That gets made. And that just leaves steel. It's going to be a bit spaghetti, to say the least. I wonder how neat it's even possible to make this. Let the spaghetti flow? Indeed. Um, Alright, before I forget, let's put a system in place here to limit uh, what we put in. Huh, that actually is a problem. Because there's going to be more than five types of items in this chest. I could always just use more than one delivery cannon chest. That would probably make a lot more sense. Like, a lot more sense. Alright. Let's, uh, move this stuff aside for now. Another delivery cannon chest somewhere. And we want it to have... Copper, stone, steel... Copper, stone, steel... And iron. Hmm. If I do it this way, I would have to have more than one delivery cannon sending copper. I'm not a huge fan of that, but 
maybe we could start by putting that there. This can go here. So this is iron copper, those things, sulfuric acid, and then steel and stone could go in a different chest. We don't need either of those over here. Just leave steel, which means we could put steel and stone here, and then connect those together. I think that's it. Stone brick. So this one signal transmitter can report what needs to be sent to these two delivery cannon chests. Uh, Steel and stone goes up here. Uh, everything else goes over here. And the only issue remaining is prioritizing consumption of the recycled steel over what's in here. And since you know you can shoot to the same planet, you can even test before you deploy. That's true. Uh, but I think we're probably good here. I don't suppose... No, we're never going to get one substation to cover all of this. That's okay. Move that over a bit. Yeah. Seems a bit neater. Right. So my only question now is can I avoid adding a chest to this just to um Oh wait. The barrels actually come from here. That works pretty well. Now, if there's steel and here and steel here, are these two inserters going to take turns like 50-50, which is going to be more than enough to get rid of this steel? Or are we going to have a problem? Inserter to recycle the empty barrels? Yeah, I noticed. Um, well, worst case, I'll have to add a chest here so that we can measure how much steel is in here, and if there's any steel here, disable this one. But that's an easy fix. Yellow inserter on the delivery chest? I don't think that particularly matters, um... This thing's going to be really slow, one per second, if it was going full speed. Um, for steel consumption, 1.25. And... Uh, I think what'll happen is these two will take turns regardless of what type of inserter they are. Although, yeah, if we want to be pedantic about it, we could definitely save some power in this build. Just uh, little tiny amounts of it by having different types of inserters. Or we'll output the steel from the recycler to the delivery chest. That's a good point, actually. That's 
Because this has to be empty of steel before it sends any more steel. That's all we have to do. Yeah. Good idea. Okay, I think this is the build, actually. Uh, and then, of course, we have, like, a uh, Robopod. Well, we could probably actually do it with belts. Um, where's our big cannons? It's going to be a little bit awkward to get the output from that, but I think we'll be fine. Don't even need any robots. I don't have any underground belts on me. Underground belt. That is blue. I'm thinking... We put a row of these right about here. We can actually chain them, right? So we don't need much belt. Uh, I want to put these nice and close together if we can. One, two, three, four, five. I'll figure out the inserters later. Eight, nine, ten. Ten is probably enough, right? Oh. There's not going to be a way to... It doesn't have to be all in one direction. That's fine. Right, it's going to need to be medium poles. Unless I put them a little bit further apart. All good. Uh... Hironikwaikiewski. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If you're only defending that tiny area, would it be better to use the little ones? Uh, yes, it would, but we need to use uh, solar panels this time. So we're going to be defending a big area. Um, but yeah, I think that is our blueprint. That should do it. Uh, let's see. Delivery cannon. What was my naming convention for these? Or mining drill and then a delivery cannon. Core mining drill. Delivery cannon. Uh, let's see. Minimal. Minimal core mining. Uh, what are these called again? Media defense installation. I'll just say MDI. Oh, and I think that pipe might be around the wrong way. Nope, that's actually correct. Uh, 
That should be fine, right? I think. Yeah, let's add it to the collection. Score mining? Uh, I guess. Just Kiro? No worries. Started playing Crestorio plus SE. Do you have any tips for ingredients in main bus? Uh, ingredients in main bus, like for your first main bus base. I definitely regretted not bussing concrete and. I can't remember if having just one belt for stone brick was a problem as well. And there was definitely a couple more things that I wish I'd bust, but I can't remember what they are now. Uh, so probably make sure you have... Let's say... Just to be safe, have... 20, uh, 20 lanes for the bus, but you're probably only going to need a few of them to be, like, four lanes. Score mining, okay. Score mining. Right, I think we, uh... Well, I wouldn't quite say we're ready to go to the Vulcanite planet, but we just need to set requests and stuff for the... What's the word I'm looking for? Bunk? No, you did put score instead of core. Oh. Really? Maybe it was, uh, like a Freudian slip or something. Score. Uh, right. Here's our usual for visiting a planet. Uh, we're gonna need to swap out the media point defense for the big boys. And we need ten of these. I'm pretty sure if they take up an entire inventory slot, um, there's no risk of losing it. What else do we need here? Chemical plants? We're taking some chemical plants anyway. Definitely going to need a lot more solar. Let's see how much space we've got left here. Quite a lot. Um, so we know Mariel gives us there's plenty of space, even though it's a fairly small planet. Uh, should probably make sure I take lots of cliff explosives. Although we can definitely make some more. Wait, no, there's no water here. Yeah, I gotta be careful. Um, can I make liquid rocket fuel if there's no water? Can't do these ones. Can't do this. The regular petroleum recipe requires water. How am I gonna get back? I think I'm going to have to cannon rocket fuel over in order to get back. Unless we get it directly from Vulcanite. That's going to be how we're going to get back. Mining Vulcanite. Actually, don't we need to like wash Vulcanite or something? We do. Uh, so, 
If I'm not mistaken, there's no way to make solid rocket fuel, which we need for the liquid rocket fuel. Um, can't send it in barrels, can we? We can. I guess that's the easiest way to go about it. I think from now on, let's, uh, let's just make some liquid rocket fuel barrels. And we'll send them by cannon. Pack lots of solid rocket fuel. I've tried that before. It takes just too much inventory space. Also, uh, not that I have an overabundance of Vulcanite, but if you do take Vulcanite, it is 55% more space efficient if you're going to use uh, productivity modules. Um, but for now, let's add another one of these. And it's going to be... Oh. Huh. Can't actually... You can make a barrel for liquid rocket fuel, but you can't send it by cannon. I guess we'll just send solid rocket fuel by cannon. And we may as well set that up here. I'm just going to manually control it, since every time... Uh, actually, we're going to have to send a lot, so I think I'll set up a receiver here as well. So we're only going to send... Uh, if we receive a signal for solid rocket fuel. And... We'll set this to... Well, we're going to send it to whatever planet we're on at the time. I'll just leave that for now. Makes some sense, not much... Uh, not to launch a barrel full of explosive stuff by cannon. That is true. Okay. I'm glad I thought that far ahead. Not that I couldn't have set it up remotely after I got here, but still. Um, what do we got? 400 inventory slots still. We'll just go with the same solar ratio because I'm lazy. Even though we get 12% more solar power. Uh, so it's going to be 1 to 6. Given that we've got 400 and something slots. Wait, is it 1 to 6? I think it's 1 to 6. Yeah, 8 to 48. And I think we've got that ratio here already, yep. So... How many... how much more solar can we fit? Wait, how much more solar do we even have? Uh, let's just start by filling that out. 400 times 20, 8,000, and that would mean 48,000 accumulators. It's probably going to be a bit much. P 
petrol gas barrels are fun to watch get launched. Yes, indeed. Uh, we're not going to need pipes. Since we're not doing nuclear. Don't need a single dodgy assembly machine one. Don't really need any yellow inserters either. At the scale of power that we're dealing with, they make such an insignificant difference. I'm already carrying plenty of inserters. It's going to take a while to load all the solar panels. How many have we got manufactured up here? 4.4 thousand, that's not too bad. 4.4k is 223 inventory slot. I just realized I definitely went way over how much we can fit here. Because we're going to almost fill it with solar panels and then start adding accumulators. Um, what's the day length? 10.6 minutes, okay. Um, if it's 1 to 6, but the stack sizes are different. How many more of these can we fit with a good ratio? Well, I think we'll just take all of the flat solar panels that we've got, if we can, and then see what we've got left. Do we have any more spiders to play with? We've got eight. More than I was expecting. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, six. Just need some portable RTGs, and it seems we've run out. Why have we run out of portable RTGs? Because there's no nuclear fuel again? Uh, uranium fuel cells, that is. They're doing the th thing again, where they try to go around in circles. I can't really think of a good um, solution to that one, except I think I just have to put these two on different networks. Uh, one, two, four. That's binary. So this is going to be encoded network ID 4, I think these are the same, and then encoded network ID 8, we've already used 1 and 2. So the default, if you don't enter an encoded network ID, I think it's negative one, but the point is it means it can interact with every um, every other station ID. So if we put these on separate station IDs, they can't interact with each other, but they can interact with every other station. 
Why is this one asking for a capsule? Never mind, it got it. Alright. Still waiting on those portable RTGs, of course. We've got three on the way already. That didn't take long. I could always take a couple out of mine if I wanted to be impatient. Looks like we've hit our limit for solar panels. Yep. So how many do we have here? 5.4 thousand. So we need 32,000 or so accumulators. Thirty-two thousand four hundred. Um, just an estimate, but that might might work out okay with how much we can fit. Medusa and a Yusa. Please follow the leader. Just one or two of them still needs uh, RTGs. I think I'll just give the ones I've got here. Oh. That's a pretty decent sized spider army for vanilla biters. Only leaving other spiders behind, good. Oh, we probably... Yeah, we've been consuming RTGs over here as well. That probably counts for something. In terms of using up all of those fuel cells. Right. How's our uranium production going? I see nothing in motion. Do we have uranium down here still? We do, but it's not a full train load. How much more does it take before we get some uranium cores? Uh, we're already at 15k, so it's not doing that badly. So let's see, a single 16 core fragments represents two uranium ore, so 16,000, a train load, represents uh, 2,000, multiplied by 1.32. It's actually only... 2,640 uranium that we get out of a train load of uranium core fragments. That's not that much. Might be worth setting up uh, core mining on the other two uranium planets already. I don't know why I'm carrying all of these. Oh, that's right. I was deconstructing them earlier. All 
Alright. We're just waiting on... Oh my goodness. How's our ratio? 5.4 to 8.8. .8. That's no good at all. How much extra can I carry myself? Um... Let's drop this down a bit. Maybe... I haven't even done the math, actually. How much does 2,000 of these get us? 2,000 times 6, 12,000. We could probably fit all that. Um, I should probably count how much power our new build is going to require. Score mining. So that's 50 plus 12. This adds up to like, at least, call it 10-ish each. Um, so we're under like 150 with that stuff. And then 20 megawatts when recharging. That's kind of scary. But I, I think it's 10 megawatts when it's fully charged, so another 100 megawatts. So if we have about 250 megawatts worth with lots of storage... Maybe I should even set up a cascading set of... There's no way to actually detect whether this is fully charged, right? I was going to say I should set up a kind of a cascading system so that we charge these one at a time instead of needing 200 megawatts while they're recharging in extreme cases. Quiet melancholy? Oh, sorry, mediocrity. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, let's call it like 250 to 300 megawatts that we want with plenty of, uh, storage. Um, it's going to be 400 megawatts times 1.12. 448 times 2,000. Uh, 896,000 kilowatts, so 896 megawatts. I th think we're going to be okay. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to take enough solar to get this done. More than likely. If not, we'll just have to arrange another trip. Let's make sure we take more cliff explosives than normal as well. I do not want to run out of those um, while we're trying to place the solar panels. I was also thinking of making a huge steam storage bank and bringing some steam turbines. Like for coronal mass ejections. What does the umbrella pull when it's active? I guess it doesn't say here. It's 10 megawatts to just sit there. 28 gigajoules. Oh, 0.35 gigawatt peak. That's a lot. So 350 megawatts. So like, well, more importantly, no, not more importantly, how much power do we get out of a uh, steam turbine? It's like five point something megawatts. 5.8 megawatts. Can the condenser turbines do better if the steam is hotter? Hmm. 
900 degrees C, 10.62 megawatts, versus this can only do 500. Can an electric boiler give us 900 degrees steam? Five thousand, five hundred. Do it. Do we have to? Oh, there's not going to be any water there anyway. Yeah, I was thinking about using steam to store a lot of power, but um, that's not going to work here. Max is per plant. Oh, per planet. Wait. Where are you getting the water for this steam? Good question. Yeah, the answer is we're not. So that's one less thing to have to worry about building and designing. Uh, I think we're ready, probably. We'll definitely set up a robot over there just in case we want to do something remotely after we've gone. But other than that, I think we're good. Of course we'd arrive there at night. The night doesn't last very long though. Alright, so what's the name of the planet? Mariel. Uh Mariel. General vicinity. And probably should have remembered to set the target sooner, but it required less delta V than a target before. The liquid rocket fuel has gone back into storage. And I think it's time to launch. So how do I check, do I have to actually build the umbrella before I can see what max draw is over here? That was noisy. Uh, let's turn off our RoboPort for the moment, and drop a solar panel. Please stop trying to bring me things. Just build the solar panels, please. That should be enough to run the RoboPod anyway. Oops. It is gradually charging. And storage. That'll do. Oh, and some logistic bots. And off goes my rainbow bot. Rip. Oh, the link. Permit, uh, no. I wish I could make the permit, well, I probably could. I think I'll just make the permits, uh, either permanent or very, very long. The umbrella has passive power draw of 10 megawatts to an internal battery of 1 gigajoule. The base power draw... With 5,000 radius and 100% solar is 160 gigawatts over two, gigajoules over two minutes. Peak power draw of two gigawatts at one minute mark. Power draw increases or decreases if the radius is larger or smaller. Also directly proportional to solar strength. 
So it's really a game balance thing as opposed to making sense. If Umbrella failed to satisfy power demand for CMA, you will not be defended. Orbits and belt power draw is similar. For orbits and belts? Oh, as in uh, asteroid belts. Players only have to provide either 2.28 gigawatts of sustained power or 182 gigajoules excess power in the form of energy storage over two minutes. Yep. All right, cool. Right, so where shall we build? I guess there's no reason to build anywhere in particular, um, but I would like to have the... Uh, this thing close to the middle of the map. Why don't we start here? Don't really want to put it over a mine. This'll do. And I suppose all that's left is to build out a whole lot of uh, power. There's a huge space down here. Right. Let's grab... I'll just put the uh, cliff explosives in here for now. And then remember that I have them on logistic request. Take all the solar panels I can. All right, please turn off logistic requests. I forgot to bring a lot of substations. Oh, that's going to be a problem. I can make 10. Um, I suppose I'll just have to... Honestly, I might just send another rocket... That's a, that's a real shame, because there was lots of space left over in the rocket as well. Yeah. I expected to forget something, but not something that critical. Um, I suppose we could manufacture them here. Steel concrete event circuit copper cable is nothing to scoff at having to build, though. So what is your radius and solar modifier here? I'll run the calc. Uh, solar modifier is 1.12. And the radius is uh, 2,000 exactly. They're really taking the time picking that up. There we go. Inventory's a bit too full now. Mass. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did you see the thing on this planet? The thing? 
uh, is is that is that not just like a missing piece of? Oh. Oh, what 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 are those spiders? Uh, I think I think for the briefest moment I saw movement. Um, I'm a little concerned. Uh, okay, I don't think they're going to come out of here, so let's set some things up. Get some power. Get some laser turrets around it. Shoot it? Save and shoot it? Kill it with fire? What Texas logic is that? And nukes. Uh, maybe. We're gonna need ourselves a cargo rocket silo getting started sooner rather than later. Let's put it up here. Probably a good idea to connect the solar that I have placed so far. Alright, so we're now looking pretty good power-wise. And how much have we got to spare? Hard to say until the accumulators are charged. I think I threw away too many of my bots to build quickly. Probably faster if I go back and collect some more. Although I do want them to empty all of this stuff quicker. It looks like they're almost finished. About 900 megawatt or 72 gigajoules of storage. Yikes. So we need um, 200 times 72, 14,400 accumulators. I don't think I brought that many. You must bring democracy to this pyramid? What if they already have it? What if they share a consciousness and the concept of democracy makes no sense? Dengio Games, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. I'll take those. Yay. What the? Why are my bots not building these? Oh, they're probably trailing down here somewhere. Yep, there they are. I actually had more bots attached to me than I nope. thought, but a lot of them got lost. There are bots flying slowly between the solar field and the landing site. Yes, indeed. He was more like, nope. Okay. What a mess to tidy up. I'll pick this up manually, I suppose. Put that in here. Cargo rocket sections. A 
unpack. And then that just leaves fuel. That rocket fuel is not going to go far. Um, we are going to have to have solid rocket fuel whoops, uh, sent to us directly to make this stuff. And at least for the moment. Put some power connections over here. Whoops, there goes our power. suppose we can not even leave one of these connected. That's not going to consume any power unless it's mining, though. Uh, I think I forgot to bring belt again. Luckily, red belt will be enough for this part. That is barely moving. But as soon as uh as soon as this part's blocked up, it'll stop consuming any power. Belt substations. Uh what are we doing? So this is going to be, I guess let's just place as many uh, solar things as we can for now. And then we'll see where we're at. Oh, I need to get more, I do not need to get more robots, I've got 50. One of these days I'm going to come to the next planet completely prepared and it's not going to take two hours to sort out. Uh, I don't think these are connected. Yeah, they're not. That's why our accumulators are charging. Keep going till we run out of accumulators. And then face the question of... Well, I'm pretty sure we can't manufacture accumulators here because we can't make plastic. Because there's no water. We can't make any oil products. It's way too much stone being picked up. Oh, we actually placed all of the substations so far. And 
and away we go. Nice and fast. Alright, what else are we doing here? Going to need a landing pad. And we're going to need to have substations sent over here. I should probably... I don't mind if we send extra solar panels, I can always take them back. Um, uh, I don't really want to delete these things, let's just set them to zero. And I won't have to find them again later. Bring some rocket fuel, sure. I don't see any harm in bringing more defense ammo. Start getting fuel in the rocket? Yeah. Um, as long as we've got enough power, which we definitely do. This should be... Okay. Where's our media defense ammo? There we go. Chuck it there to start with. Um, I think I'll just chuck it in here. Oh, these are already as loaded as they're going to get because there's no power. Oh, we're charging. But I don't think our accumulated charge is going to make it. It's going to be close, but no, it's actually not going to be that close. Well, that does go to show that there should be enough solar once we place everything here. Um, but yeah, rocket fuel, we need to send that over here. Need to temporarily add this to the whitelist. And transmitter is Ariel uh, delivery cannon chest. And before I forget. Novice DC rail receiver number one. Okay. Mariel DC chest. We can now pick up the solid rocket fuel. Fantastic. Uh, Mariel. Destination. Yep. Yeah. And it should only launch when there's no solid rocket fuel here. There we go. You can see the little red light there, as long as there's solid rocket fuel at the other end. And once that lands, good, it's working. Right, so that'll... it's only 20k. Oh, that's to go to orbit. We need to go back to... Uh, Nalvis. Nalvis landing pad, that's gonna be 55.35k. That's not that much. I suppose we could just leave this here. Um, although I don't want to leave a dedicated cannon for that. 
Now, next step is sending lots and lots of substations. Substation. I'm pretty sure 500 was overkill last time, but it only hurts to leap to send too few, not too many. And I guess even though we're going to run out of subs, uh, we can go ahead and continue placing solar panels in the meantime. Put some belt and substations on that list so you don't forget next time. Yeah, good idea. I'm not used to having a zero request for belts, like, ever, but um, it's because of going into orbit and the regular belts don't do anything. Well, they literally just can't be placed. Yes, indeed. I'm really looking for... Oh, no. Oh, no. I never got the... I never got my portable RTGs resupplied. I've only got 600 kilowatts worth. Oh, no. This is so much to place with only two RTGs. Well, first things first, I'm gonna have to... Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take trips to empty out my inventory pretty often because of all this rock. When can we get better... Roboports? <gasps> we can already get better Roboports. I could have done this ages ago. Oh my goodness. It's already at 5%. It's at 10%. Well, it's probably going to be kind of bottlenecked on power anyway, but more, uh, fewer slots to do the same thing is pretty welcome. Zoom Zoom Research? Yeah. We've got way more um, labs than we've got like the throughput to support them, but those science packs have accumulated. Well then. 100 processing units, some LDS, and 5 personal roboports. What I might do... is... set things up so that by the time I get back... We've got some of those. Ship them? Yes, indeed. Oh, you mean put them in this? I could do that. Given how long this is going to take to load, that might be a good idea. In fact, it's definitely a good idea. It's a great idea. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Personal Roboport Mark 2. Max consumption 3.5 megawatts. It's only 1.5 times as much as the original. Two and a half times as many robot limit. 25% more construction area. Okay. Let's do some uh, of the usual chests. How long does this take? 20 seconds. Well, we're not going to need to produce these that quickly, but even so. Where's our chest? Here it comes. Nope, that's an inserter. Right. 
bring to me the blue chest. There we go. And then limit to... I don't know. 50 is probably fine, even when we end up wanting a bunch of them for Spider-Trons. And I guess we'll add a few to the requests over here. Personal report. Where is it? Am I blind? There it is. Right, so we're definitely going to have way more solar than we need, um, which is fine. We'll just keep adding it until this is easily satisfied. Hi, is it only space exploration or is there a mod pack list? There is indeed. Thanks, Nyra. And welcome, Simblos. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I guess we may as well set these up. I'll leave them switched off for now. Novice destination. Where should we put... I feel a little bit silly for setting all these up with multiple resources earlier, since I ended up using just one for each chest, but it's no big deal. We've only got one or two that are still vacant, no, three actually. Alright, I guess we'll put it next to the other uh, core fragments. Except this needs to be Vulcanite Core Fragment. And all that remains is to switch it on. So what's our surplus? I think apart from a decent amount of media defense. We've actually got enough power already. Um, we need to set this to Core Fragment Vulcanite. That should be greater than zero. Uh, yeah, I think we're actually ready to start sending stuff back. Core Fragment Vulcanite. Let's see how our power is looking while that's running. We're at about 50%. I don't think this is charging yet, though. Also, why is the... Why do we get 3.9... Vulcanite per second. Uh, six per second with uh, productivity bonus, but on another planet we got a lot more, right? I think we've got just one mine on Hagen. It gives us 11.695 cryonite core fragments per second, but this is only going to give us six uh, Vulcanite. Chip your portable power, smaller radius. Uh, fair enough. Uh, that's a good point. Let's add some... Power armor. Portable... Wait. Portable RTG, we just need a couple. Cool. I finished my... Whole might. Whole might? 
Have I been mispronouncing it the whole time? Or... Uh, which is it? All men night. Okay, cool. It wasn't me. A hey, Creakley. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Finished my Holmite planet. Don't forget to blueprint your Holmite train block. Okay, no worries. I think it's going to take a little while before I get that finished because of this little sidetrack. Uh, we're actually already half full on refueling the rocket. I know it's only 55k this time, but this is a much, much better way to do this. We could always use productivity modules on this, but... Well, we could, frankly. Still doing the accumulators. I could alter this so that we can load it a bit faster. No, I think it's already set up so that we'll load it fast. It's just that we've kind of run out of accumulators. Because we've kind of run out of batteries, no doubt. Nope, we've got quite a few batteries here. Let's do this thing again. Empty the storage. And that'll give us accumulators a lot faster. Average core fragments per second in total equals zone radius over 500 times square root number of miners times productivity research bonus. Okay. So it's square root number of miners is how the diminishing returns work. Root 1 is 1, root 4 is 2. You need 9 for the equivalent of 3. What would normally be 3? And so on. 100 miners is only 10 times the first. Ouch. Might be worth uh, adding some more core drills this time, though. Hey, Seeforcat. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream? Welcome, raiders. Have we really stopped? Oh, we're not receiving the ingredients yet. Whoops. Okay, so... Uh, we need to add a signal receiver over here. I don't know if I've got the construction spiders set to carry them yet. Also, they've got problems. Um, can't really click on them, can I? I can. Alright. Um, can I move you here for a second? Logistics, efficiency modules, zero. And that helped a whole lot. Let's drop the number of belts that you're carrying. And get you to carry some transmitters and receivers. Ten is enough. Uh, Peasant SL, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. We set up a hundred core miners on our biggest radius planet in the solar system. Nice. 
Um, that about do it. All right, let's get our construction spiders over to our little array of cannons. And suddenly realize that we haven't set things up to send certain resources. Let's just get the basics out of the way for now. And how is our rocket loading doing? We still need like 7,000 if we're gonna wait for this. I think we'll just not do that for now. So we can load some other things. We also did it on our tiny moon before we realized how much the radius killed the output. Ouch. Alright. I guess I'll go place some more of these in the meantime. By which I mean I'll park myself somewhere and have a look at Alvis while the bots do things. Uh, we definitely need another one of these. And we need one of each of these resources. All connected. I guess I'll start with this one. That's already taken. Copper plate greater than zero. Uh, let's target. Was it Mob Bay? What was this planet called again? Mariel. Mariel. M-A-R-I oh, That's not what I'm looking for That's what I'm looking for And switch on Oh, that was quick Um, couldn't that be Copper plate greater than zero Oh, it was already loaded from before That's okay as long as we're not going to overload the chest. I do need to get a signal across here somehow. And then explosives. This one. Oh, yeah. Explosives go here. Is there a way f to jump back straight to the... Oh, here we go. Back to delivery cannon. Nice. And this should be set to explosives greater than zero. Now we just need LDS and heat shield. On the same wire. LDS and heat shield and we'll actually have to set the target there we go And 
last but not least. Wait, which one is it? This one? Well, oh, we should have everything we need uh, to start making delivery cannon caps. There's no power. Why is there no power? We didn't change anything, right? It's night time, that's something. Or maybe it was the amount of firing of the cannons that did it? What's this orange line? Media defense installation. The signal spaghetti is inspiring? Yeah, I really want to refactor that so that each one is a self-contained unit. Is the day length too long? It's 10 point something minutes. 10.6 as opposed to 7 minutes being the default. So we've already been trying to shoot down medias. Do some planets get more medias than others? Let's go back and empty our inventory. Part 84, so where can I watch the 83 parts before? Unfortunately, I haven't archived all of them, but uh, I do have a YouTube where from this point I've been uh, uploading the VODs usually before they expire. Um, unfortunately, I was quite sick a couple of weeks ago and I missed a couple. Uh, I am Freaky. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What parts are you missing? Uh, I could check, but it's like five of them, ten or twenty parts ago. Of the recent ones, yeah. I have 73 onwards. Okay. But wait, do you mean that's on the YouTube, or you like, downloaded them? Download? Oh, nice. Maybe I'll be able to complete the set. Let's get our bots back. And uh, I am three. I am freaky. Thank you for the follow. I wanted some reference material for my base. No worries. Hit me up on Discord or something if you need them. Cool. Thank you. I know some people really appreciate having the uh, VODs available, so definitely like to f correct that. Come to me, little robots. Is that all of them? Okay. How's the loading of our rocket going? I think it's done. No, nope, we're still waiting on RTGs. Where are these red circuits going? Why are these red circuits going? Oh, that's kind of strange. Oh, is this the, the trash pickup? Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Wondering why the RTGs aren't being made. Probably because there's no... Uh, there's no fuel. And there's no nuclear because... It just takes a while, that's why. 
I wonder if I could set this thing up to prioritize the nuclear fuel a bit better. We're still doing cover X here. So it wasn't that long ago that we had a train load arrive. I wonder if there's a uranium field that I haven't exploited that I could. It's quite close by. This one's under these solar panels, but that's not too much of a hindrance. Although setting up uranium mining remotely is a little bit of an extra pain because we need to do the sulfuric acid as well. Did we actually run this dry? Yeah, we did. Hmm. 3.6 million over there. Gotta take the territory first. I guess we'll just uh, not worry about the portable RTGs for now. Already got the roboports on the way, actually. There's only a couple. Did we get the substations? We did. We're still half empty. Do we want anything else? Okay, um, I think I need to add some You know what, for now, can you just, can you just stop? We need to save power for the moment. It's not like we're getting Vulcanite back home because we haven't set up a, a system to break these down yet. Solid fuel? Oh, we've got plenty of solid fuel already because we've been sending it via cannon. Uh... That's funny, I thought this was already fueled up. I guess not. Yeah, I've got a bunch of solid fuel here as well. Alright. Anything else? Just the personal roboports? I don't really think we need ten of those, do we? And that leaves a little bit of media ammo. And that's it. Unless I think of something else we need over here. Right. Let's... And unless I want to wait for the portable RTGs. Um, can we maybe stop making spider drones for a minute? I don't think we particularly need any more right now. In fact, let's salvage one of those portable RTGs that's stuck in here. That's actually going to take more bots just to do that than I realized. You were half fueled last you checked. Yeah, I think you're right. I thought it would take like four seconds to get that RTG, but there we go. I'll just add this request here, but set it to zero for now. Right, so there's one RTG. I could just send that. I'm still amazed that we're not getting... Oh. Which planet was it? Is it Taser? Did I send... No, I didn't even send these here directly. I'm sending the uranium instead. Also, now that I think about it, we've probably got quite a lot of uranium down here, which we do, but it we do send it here as a priority, but there's not much storage for it, and it can't come back up. Hmm.
Maybe it would make sense to have some robopots over here. Or just a lot of storage for the 238 to get put into this stuff. What sciences are you at? Um, pretty much the same as before, although I did just get personal RoboPort Mark II done. Uh, I haven't got energy science yet. We do have Holmium. But I haven't done the whole chain just yet. Pens Permia Simulation. Neat. I guess... Oh, I forgot that I removed that. A couple of these. And... I've only got one on the way. Is there some way I can get... some uranium fuel cells over here? Like, quickly. I think I know a way, actually. Where's our trash trains? Here's one. What are you doing? What? What? What is going on? What is this? I've never seen anything like this before. That can't be helping with the train network. Does anyone know what's happening? The stop is flickering on and off. Uh, this one over here? That's true. Oh, I see what's... This'll help. Well, anyway, I want to... Is that it? Is that the tr No, it's not. Um, where's our trash train? You, stop. Please go... here, temporarily. And... pick up... All the fuel cells you can. That's not a whole lot. And go back to base, please. Okay. That should be fine. Once the trash train gets here, same as if it a uh, delivery was made for uranium fuel cells, it'll go in purple chests. And then we get our RTG. Finally. Considering it only takes four of them, uh, I'm surprised how badly we ran out. And that's the last thing. Unless I think of something else. Which I don't see why I would. Not Michael? Enough RoboPorts to be able to remote fix stuff, assemblers, inserters, in case you need to just shoot raw materials at it. Oh, hey, the West dude. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm assuming that planet isn't running on nuclear. Uh, which one? This one will not be. Uh, we've got, I think, two of... We've got Tolibai running on nuclear, which it core mines itself. And Hazer runs on nuclear. But we can't send... Um, uranium fuel cells by cannon, so we just send these directly. Um, which, yeah, it doesn't take that much to run all this. Hey, Majagus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. 
Hope you're doing well. I'm going to stop procrastinating and just send this rocket. I don't know of anything else I could need. So make sure we send it to the landing pad. And away we go. It's possible I could have put more... Could have, should have put more accumulators, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. RTGs, you play Astroneer? Uh, no, but in space exploration, you don't get fusion reactors for a long time. You get basically just inferior fusion reactors to start with. Portable RTG. Speaking of which, I'll take that and that. Thank you very much. And these. That's going to be much better. In fact, I might just temporarily take back... Where's the Roboport? Am I blind or is it craftily hidden? Oh, there it is. Right in the middle of all these storage things. Derp. I can now use all a hundred of these bots. Um, I guess we'll put that in there. Same goes for all of those. Uh, what was I... What was I trying to do? Actually, we should stack them. Stacked. Oh, pack. Not stack. Packing cargo sections. What else? Let's put all our solid rocket fuel here. As long as I don't run out. And let's go place some more solar and stuff. Wait, nope, don't take it, don't take it. Thank you. Because the day is longer, the ratio needs more accumulators, as you saw last night. Oh. Rip. I should maybe in future set up some power switches for like the core miner and stuff as well. Gotta prioritize the defenses. Much better to have the system slow down a little bit than stop if a media gets through. And we're already about to be full on stone and coal. Nothing for it. I'm going to have to have the bots trail me back. R equals 0 0.168 times... Max panel output kilowatts t divided by accumulated capacity kilojoules times cycle duration S efficiency over a hundred to be exact. That's a lot of variables. Go, go, go. So how big is my RoboPort range now? Not bigger than this, that's for sure. Let's go pick up the rest of our bots. You could dump the stone in a steel and just shoot it much faster, I think. 
guess, but it, even now that feels wasteful. I could save some battery power by picking these up manually, but there's so many of them. Oops. Let's jump back to Nervous for a sec. I haven't actually seen the new military spiders in action, although I should be careful about ordering them around remotely. Where's the leader? Hey, Christoph King. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I took all the lasers off the one at the front, and it's just got nine shields. Uh, so 1800 hit points with a lot of hit point regeneration. How far to spaceships? Uh, a thousand years. That looks like plenty? Yeah. I should think so. can pretty much walk straight at things, uh, as long as there's not too much. I do want to push it to the limit to test it, though. It's actually only on half health now. It got through all of that in a straight line without losing its shields. Just walking straight into the spit. This is definitely the way to go, especially considering the fact that we almost never actually have to use lasers. It also gives me a lot of confidence that I could just click and forget as long as I bring them back to get repaired. Like, I could probably do this and no harm will come to them. That is pretty strong, to say the least. And by the time it runs into the next base, it'll probably be... It's back to half charge. Yep. That's pretty effective. Alright, let's send them through all this. And... Then back to base. Could add a healer in the back. Uh, that's true, but I think it'll get a lot of bots killed. Especially considering how slow the bots are for now. Oh yeah, Robopot range. That's uh, pretty good. Any more and it gets kind of counterproductive with the bots taking too long. My pollution started to fall off the planetary edge. Oh no. Are you terraforming another Venus? Let's change our requests for this. May as well get all the stone while we're here. As much as we can carry anyway.
At least there isn't a wraparound mechanic. That'd be kind of trippy to try and figure out. Uh, my brain actually kind of hurts trying to figure that out. Like how you would code it and stuff. Alright, we're about full. I think we overdid it again. Yeah, I'm sure we did. I guess I'll let what bots I can catch up. And then back we go. Why aren't we doing the Pan's Permia simulation? I thought we had all of these. Astro Bio Tier 1. It should be working. Let's have a look at it while we wait for this to happen. I see no motion in the bioscience. If we run out of... We've got bio sludge, so everything else should be okay. Significant data, insight, catalog, old thermo fluid? Really? Is it not connected to the old thermo fluid network somehow? Or did everything stop because there's no old thermo fluid? This is weird. There's no cool thermo fluid. There's no thermo fluid. There's no sulfur. There's no petroleum. Uh, we've got light oil, and I know we've got cracky. Did we run out of water? No, we've got ice. There's no light oil getting into the cracking here. But there should be. If light oil is greater than petroleum, which it is... Oh, we don't actually have that supply of light oil getting to cracking. Huh. Well, that's an oversight. Uh, is this connected to it? Yes. I'm surprised with a mistake like that, um, that it took so long for that to happen. Is heavy oil okay? We're getting heavy oil from the scrap. But this part is disconnected. And over full. Alright, that should probably get everything in motion again, I think. We'll soon find out. When you have to trace back production chains to a raw resource? Indeed. Um, that one bit of missing pipe is a bit sketchy as well, but... Hopefully by the time we need to address it, um, we can move on. What the hell is that belt? Oh, do you mean the, uh, the sushi belt? You like it? It's exactly that. It's a giant sushi belt. We just use a uh, circuitry to count and control how much of each resource we put on the belt so it doesn't get over full and stop. Is the disconnected heavy oil near fix was on purpose? Yeah, that's what I don't know or remember. Like, obviously if I put this here, that'll be connected and that would be bad. I could always bring this down a tile, put this up here, so that wouldn't be connected. I don't see any 
utility in having these disconnected, and I do have a pipe running all the way up there. Maybe we should fix this. If there was some special reason not to do that, uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. I thought you moved from Sushi Belt? Uh, we're going to. <laughs> Oof, why not a bus? Because it's my first time. It's my first time playing uh, space exploration, and it is extremely complicated. And I was going into this completely blind, not knowing what resources would be required for what things. That is a bus. Yeah, that's true. It's an unconventional bus, but it is a bus. Okay, let's grab some more solar things and get our inventory full of stuff again, no doubt. Let me just drop off these inserters, actually. No, no, don't. Uh, okay. Guess I'll keep my logistics turned off for the moment. Or maybe just put that in a chest. Regular old chest. Okay. Grab some more redeemings. And off we go. Best fa part of Factorio is that very complicated production machine Cannot break if you connect something wrong, or don't supply enough of some material. Yes. Try to have... Okay. Why not just use your Spidertron to build the solar farm? Uh, I didn't bring a Spidertron. And I didn't particularly want to leave one on the planet, but maybe I should have. Let's just double check our military spiders got back okay. Looking good. Fantastic. Should probably not jetpack every second since I throw away most of the fuel. Actually, we're getting it automatically sent here. It'll be fine. I don't see Panspermia simulation getting started yet. I'm still waiting on cold thermofluid. Regular thermofluid. Sulfur. Oh, I see movement. Alright, so we are getting some petroleum over here. There's our sulfur. So that is going to get done. Spiders are on another planet. Yes, indeed. Also, Noxyway Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I need to remember to bring more substations, I think. Oh, we don't need that many more. Um, this is actually only 48 substations. So I definitely went very overkill requesting the substations, but we can always take them back. Let's just keep going until our inventory is full, or we've dropped everything. Or both. Checks are simply essential. Everyone wants to double check or triple check. 
yes. That count seemed low. Was it only the visible area? Nothing from the fog of war. Um, you can see the number going up if I drag it over the fog of war as well. That was a lie. Okay. It is actually 152. So, still very overkill the amount that I brought with me. But that's okay. Better too much than not enough. Media defense and repair system for the solar field. Uh, the goal is to have enough media defense that we don't need to repair the solar field. Ever. Oh, that would be like two tiles out of range. Okay. How's our power doing? I wonder if we can afford this yet. Uh, I think that's a solid maybe. I think it's going to get charged before the accumulator charge runs out, but it's also approaching night time, so maybe we should cool it on that for now. It's night, yes indeed. Right, let's take the rest of these. You need like 20 cannons for that. 20 cannons? Media defense and repair... Oh no, if you get to like... We've got 10. Um, if you get to 12, it's like incredibly improbable um, that anything's going to get through. We did the math. So, let's see. Um... 80% chance per shot, and there's like a 50% reduced chance. are 100%, so you might have seven medias. Yeah, yeah, we did the math and found that like something like 12, uh, media defense installations was super overkill. It's not zero that a media will ever get through, but it is incredibly unlikely. Or at least it would take a very, very long time to happen. Uh, since I've got more solar panels here... Damn you, autosave. Let's go with another row. On top of one getting through, it also has to hit something valuable. That's true as well. I should focus on accumulators next time I go pick stuff up. Okay. Oh. 
Did we run out of power? We did. Yikes. That's uh, a bit scary. We're still losing charge on these. Uh, give to me some accumulators, please. Actually, let me bank these for now. Stream die for anyone else? Oh no. Is it working now? I think I just got, like, several messages about it at the same time. Looked like a Twitch, Twitch server crash. I'm a little bit impressed that the stream is still going without me restarting anything. Checked other streams load fine for the error message I saw. Okay. Are we all good now? Let's let these bots catch up. Might need to restart the stream to get it back up. Uh, let's see. Okay. Seems to be back now. Yeah, the preview is showing it's up. Okay, cool. Glad I didn't have to do that. Uh, Al. Kamatus, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It was Twitch. Stop stream it, give it 10 seconds and start it back up. Well, I'll definitely bear that in mind if something like that happens again. I'm surprised how well four portable RTGs is keeping up with all of these roboports and robots. Um, I guess it is, you know, 1.5... Uh, uh, yeah, 1.5 times more power. It's not as drastic as, expe as it could have been, but still. We're about to run out of battery anyway. Ericol, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Upon and Ericol, welcome. I think I saw another new name in there earlier. Shelby, welcome, welcome. Also, Nicknock, good to see you again. It's still night time. How long is the night here? Looks like about... It's like seven minutes. That is quite long. Alright, we've just about run out of accumulators. Go back for more while we recharge. Actually, let's see if there's any detritus we still need to pick up here while we're do while we're still on the same trip. I think we got it all already. Already placed the substations. There are only a few solar panels for accumulators. Why? Uh, these are flat solar panels which are a tier above regular solar panels. These are 4x4, but compared to the 60 kilowatts that you can get on the default planet, 
uh, the starting planet. This is up to 400 kilowatts. So I did the math and uh, knowing this was a pretty decent ratio, uh, I looked at kilowatts versus um, uh, energy storage megajoules and this is about the same ratio. Alright, let's grab some more accumulators. I'm still seeing 0% zero uh, zero on the panspermia simulation. A little bit concerned by that. Obviously it's very slow with the sulfur right now. But why is it still that slow? We obviously don't get much petroleum out of coal liquefaction, but we do have... I think we need to just speed up the cracking. Specifically this one. Uh, let's go with... this. And I'm pretty sure there's some... bots delivering that. Good. That alone should speed the whole thing up a bit. Still going to take quite a while before things uh, stabilize again here. Speaking of taking some time, look at how thirsty the bots are. Maybe I was a bit too greedy using four of these roboports with uh, portable RTGs. I'll turn them off for now. If that's what we're super duper bottlenecked on, I guess place a bunch of these manually. How fast can I get and still be accurate? That was uh, almost messed up. There it is. Speed running practice. Coal liquefa liquefaction doesn't seem to have much coal. Oh, you're right. That's unexpected. Yeah, I should have realized that was red earlier, but since we have so much heavy oil, I didn't really think about it. Um, we are still getting delivery cannon coal aimed here. I'm pretty sure that is in the old main bus base somewhere. But I'm not... I think this is it. And by the look of it, it's going as fast as a single cannon can. I suppose I could always make another one. Why am I filling a chest, a whole chest with these? Well, I'm not going to argue with the wisdom of past me. Oops.
All right, so both of those are aimed at the same spot. And here comes the Colt. Just double check that's working. How's my power doing over here? Still abysmal. Okay. I think I'll let the bots place these though. Finally getting some coal over here. Fantastic. Payload empty? Wait, why am I not seeing this charge thing change? Alright, never mind. Getting a bit... getting coal a bit further along the belt now. Well, it's going to take a while. That's okay, I suppose. And away go the butts. How many more... I don't know if I brought enough accumulators to support all this. Is coal a denser way to shoot it into space than barrels of petroleum? Yes. Absolutely. Um, ice is much, much, much better than uh, barrels of water. And all liquefaction... Uh, I don't know about every different fluid, depending on what your target is, but coal liquefaction with coal and ice is a lot more uh, inventory space dense than like sending up barrels of crude oil, for example. How long are you going to stream today? Uh, just another 45 minutes. Let's get this spot up here first. I might just bring, um... a squad of construction spider-trons next time. Assuming I can put them in the rocket with all the equipment, uh, I seem to remember, I can't remember the specifics of it, but under certain circumstances, with this or that mod or not, losing the items that, uh, the power armor items that were in Spidertrons, uh, if I like put them into storage or something, I don't remember how that worked. Okay. Guess I'll turn the RoboPod off for now. Too fast. Or at least too fast on that DPI.
I should really focus on the blocks with many items, a few actions, things that I'm not going to have the bots do. they don't take long to pick up. in a weird way. Am I getting low on accumulators yet? Nope. Have I got some more Roboport charge? Uh, that's affirmative. Let's go. Emptied the inventory of accumulators for the moment. Uh, approximately how many more do I need here? Pull it 2,000, just to be sure. And we've definitely got that. Alright, back to it, I suppose. Actually, I kind of want to see if we can handle this many media defense installations at this stage. It looks like we can handle them very easily. And then they all fired. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, but yeah, we're still way underneath our solar power here. Fantastic. Um, did I disable this? I did. Let's see how the power handles sending this stuff back. Though that'll take a little while to kick in. It's only a stack size of 50, right? No, it's a hundred. That's a bit more harsh, but we've still got way more than enough. I'm pretty sure we've already got more than enough for, um... Uh... If we build an umbrella as well. And... Hopefully, once we place these accumulators, there'll be enough storage as well. Two meteors got through. That's true, but we only fired five shots because the others weren't ready yet. I don't think I've set up uh, media ammo production yet. Got to make sure I don't forget that little detail. Also, we need to send iron 
plate here as well. Oh, and uh, I don't have anything set up to do sulfuric acid bands. We do have a decent supply of media defense ammo to last a little while. We get these ones. Oh, I think we've run out of battery again. Yep. I think that is... All of them. Let's see if I can find all the gaps. Oops. Are we almost done? Sort of. Quit taking my energy. actually just about done. Can we make an umbrella before we leave? That's the one thing that I should have thought of when I was uh, trying to figure out what extra thing or two I could have had the uh, uh, rocket bring us. Add zero umbrellas to that combinator. Good point. Umbrella. Although I should probably make it standard. Um, let's see. We need glass. Concrete. Copper. We can take copper and steel from here. We're not actually getting steel delivered yet, but copper, no problem. Uh, we've got glass and steel and concrete. Can delivery cannons do concrete? They can't. I think I'll just do a one-off and send that here now. Uh, was it this one? I could probably set this one up to send what we need right now. Concrete. And no condition on this one for now. Just gotta wait for the concrete to be delivered. Glass and steel.
Okay. And sound that an inserter friend catches up. It's actually not bottleneck on the inserter. And away we go. And glass. And that just leaves steel. Uh, that was quick. Steel. Fantastic. Switch you off for now. Alright. So I'm going to have to turn that off. So the butt stopped taking my stuff. Plus. Umbrella. And away we go. And then, just put this wherever. And it's immediately charged, it looks like. That's looking really good. The only question is, do we get through the night? Uh, considering that... Considering that is probably the day-night cycle right there, and the accumulator's dropped off here, I fear that maybe we do not. We do have a lot of accumulators that we can place still. We've obviously got way more than enough solar. Um, so let's take the accumulators we've got, and we'll just place them by themselves. Make a quick blueprint. Uh, snap to grid relative. And see how that goes. This planet needed nearly 900 megawatts for its CME. Ouch. Is it possible to have partial success stopping the CME? Like, you stop the first half of it and it's less likely to hit your base? Close to the star? Yeah. It's only 12% stronger solar than Nalvis. Look at those bots go. Being small helps a lot, I see. No atmosphere to slow it down, I guess. Did we place them all? I think so. So we've got nearly 50 gigajoules of uh, storage. Day-night cycle, I think we're about to see it. No, it's, um... I thought the day-night cycle was only like 10 minutes. This looks like a lot more than that. Oh, 38.12 minutes. 
For some reason I thought it was 10.6, which is the robot interference wind. That is a lot longer. Um, yeah, let's keep placing accumulators until we run out. A Spellmore? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It wanted 72 gigajoules. We're only at 49. And that's... I don't know how much of that is going to be going to nighttime. Uh, this is 30 minutes ago, so I guess we're getting pretty close to finding out. Who'd have thought we'd need that much solar for the closest planet to the sun? This one's full, that's good. Fantastic. Why am I always carrying 22 cannons? There's another mod that does solar slash accumulator calcs and it works with SE's day cycles. Nice. Might have to get that. I think I'm going to run out of energy placing this stuff again. Just solar calculator. Haven't used it much. Okay. And blueprint. Wait, is that actually exactly 80? That's surprising. Snap to grid, relative, and fur. We're up to a whopping 53.3 gigajoules of storage. 72 is looking a long way off. Oh, and the day-night cycle. Still not seeing the sun setting. Oh, yes, there we go. Just not seeing the obvious uh, ramp downwards here. I guess it's because we've got so much more solar power than we need that it doesn't start until... Did we place all of those? Yeah. No reason not to keep going. I'd rather place way more accumulators than we need. Um, and take some home. Run out of accumulators, finally. Why aren't they picking up the rocks? Probably because the batteries are dead. Okay. Yeah. Next time I have to do something like this, a army of construction uh constructor trons sounds good. 
Why don't we just put all of the delivery cannon ammo here? And we can more easily see how much is left. Still got quite a few accumulators left. Can't quite fit them all in my inventory. Why do I have exoskeletons? I think I'll keep the walls before we go into that place. Okay, there's still quite a few more accumulators to place. Fly home with all the fancy space rocks you've found? Uh... Have I found any fancy space rocks? There's some spicy rocks. So many accumulators. And the sun is still going down. Don't know how fancy they really are, but they are from another planet. That is very fancy. How much longer before we get fancy pictures from James Webb? Alright, let's run out for now. Did we run out of... Nope. Hasn't started positioning yet, I don't think. Okay. Oh. We're finally running off of accumulators. I was surprised how long that took, actually. I kind of forgot that they make this visual effect and thought we were already running off them to some extent. Well, soon gonna find out how much... I don't think we're gonna have trouble getting through the night cycle, at least. It's only going to be a question of how bad a coronal mass ejection will be. Okay. Let's keep going, I guess. Looks like James Webb is orbiting L2 and in the process of cooling down, according to the website. Nice. Exactly as planned. I guess I could use the jetpack to do this quicker, except things like that can happen. That's pretty effective. Now where do the substations go? There we go. That was unfortunate. B 
maybe halfway through the night, and I'm gonna 10, 15 to 20 percent empty on the accumulators. That's quite good. And that's with, I think, way more solar power than we should have for the ratio. So as soon as it hits morning, everything's fine. Let's just get rid of the rocks first. Actually, robots should be active by now. Even if we don't have that much energy. Maybe it would be a better strategy to only place the substations. Have the bots remove all of the rocks and then just do this. Like so. That's pretty. Oh, what happened? Why would it do this? And away we go. Still a rock at that moment? I'm not sure. I suppose that makes the most sense. Oh, that one was still lined up correctly. I think we're a bit full now. Let's head back. Right then. Sun is coming up. Accumulators are still going down. We're actually pretty close to having the storage to deal with the um, coronal mass ejection if it mostly happened at night. Very nice. Why have you stopped? Did I switch this off or something? We've got no explosives. Why have we got no explosives? Uh, let me just double check I set the explosives thing properly. Explosives greater than zero. Oh, the channel here is default. That's probably why. Mariel DC chest. I thought I remembered clicking that. And here it comes. I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did without those, uh, without that channel set up correctly. No capsules, indeed. Right, now the real test of our electricity. We're still slowly losing... Oh, it's still early. Yeah, I think we're okay. Should 
should probably do a line of solar panels anyway. It's better than taking them back. Whoops. I was wondering why the power usage was so flat. Yeah. Definitely. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Continue not... Continue regretting not sending an army of construction spidertrons with us. Though I really didn't uh, see the scale of this that would be required ahead of time. Are they not? Oh. I guess we'll add some regular old solar layer down here. Damn it, I have to remove these. Uh, what? No, no, do not do that. Definitely not. I guess it doesn't take them as much work because each flat solar panel is one job instead of four here. It's also better if they go short range. Now we're getting a bit low in energy. Still so many to place. this each time, only eight. We're already at full charge with the accumulators again, that's good. 
I dare say I did bring enough power, even for coronal mass ejections. Possibly. Got some stray bots creeping back. I think my inventory is going to be too full now. Yeah, definitely. Let's remove this for a sec. It's not going to help very much. I suppose I can probably get rid of the flat solars that I do have. Except all of my bots are trying to give me stone. Okay. Convert to landfill? Maybe. I never thought there'd be this much. Right. Might even need more storage. May as well put the scrap in here. Alien biomes add so many stones, I suppose. Uh, come to think of it, I wonder how many Vulcanite core fragments we've got by now. I'm gonna say 20,000. No, 4,000. Just kidding. I actually kind of expected it to be way more than I was gonna guess, so I, like, tried to overestimate it and went a bit too far in the other direction. Um... Okay, more solar panels, more accumulators. Actually, we mostly just need to place accumulators for the moment. Look at that big, beautiful block of solar. Oh, and all of our friends that we left behind. Whoops. And of course, there's no room for them to put stuff into the trash slots. Waypo calls. Uh huh. I'm not going to comment on that with no information. Let's see. Let me pick all these guys up now. Yep, good. And down we go. Probably gonna run out of battery power in like two seconds. Well, the fact that we have any battery power means the RoboPods are fully charged. Trash is already full. Yeah, it's getting there.
what are they actually protesting? COVID vaccine mandates? Well, yeah, anti-vaxxers and fascists have been pretty much aligned for the most part. Pretty easy conclusion to jump to, and that's without more information. It's also, in and of itself, uh, pretty... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it's a pretty much a eugenicist hobby to be saying, like, if people are gonna die, they're gonna die, whatever, that sort of thing. Common anti-vax, uh, talking points. Yeah, you do have a point there. As I said, I don't have enough information to really comment on it. Though they definitely had, they were definitely trying to stick their fingers into the pies of, like, all kinds of anti-vax protesters down here, uh, not long ago. Uh, we got a little burst of energy there, but I think the bots are about done for the moment. Actually, what time is it? It's time to find a stream to raid. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, we got Diablo, who's probably trying to finish up. Simp, I've raided at least a couple of times recently. Uh, let's give the next person a go. Why not? And hopefully the raid actually works today, instead of just not popping up with the raid button, and then if I try again it said I was already doing a raid. Was that 1H or 1M till the CME? Uh, I think it was like... It's currently... I think we missed one. It's currently 22 hours. Uh, for Marielle, actually. Yikes. 71 gigajoules over 120 seconds. I hope it's going to be during the daytime, is all I can say about that. If it's at night, we might be in prob... Might be in problem? We might have some problems. Let's give it a little save before we forget. In-game chat log. Oh. Uh, how's that Twitch chat plays Factorio working? Thought of checking it out, but dreaded the possible reality. Uh, we actually raided it recently. Um, seems to work pretty well, but it was really slow. Like, just things, the way things are getting done. Oh, hey, Evil Plot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Time to do a raid. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or requests or anything, by all means, let me know. Don't forget the Blueprint. I haven't finished it yet, but I won't, I promise. Uh... And thanks again uh, for hanging out, and I'll see you on blah, words. I'll see you all next time. Take care, Mr. Pitt. Let's go.